Bram, pa, 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 ta, 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 ta. Welcome. Sorry. Welcome. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, sure. One yeah. second. Wait, I just... Hello? Hello? What? You get, you're answering the phone? It's the United States Olympic Committee. Yes. Oh, what? Rob, what's going on? This is he. Okay. Paul, yes. shut up, please. It's the United word. States Olympic Committee. What are they Committee. saying? What are they Hold saying? on. Let them talk. Okay. All right. Yes, this is he. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. What? Yes. What? This is he. What? They, yes. They're asking, I think they're just asking who you. Yes. What? Well. <laughs> yes, this is he. Well, you just keep on saying, like, yeah. Yes. How many times? Are, why yes. do they keep on asking yes. your name? Why do they keep on asking your name? Yes, this is he. This is me. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Paul. What was oh, that on? Paul, what was I that did about? It. I what did is that? it. I did it. What is it. that about? What I got happened? tickets. I got tickets to the Tokyo Olympics. <sighs> oh, because oh, I, the way, okay. <sighs> you got, oh, well, I mean, I got tickets. Well, that doesn't seem that hard. I mean, uh, well, no, they're not letting anybody else go. And they wanted someone right. to go so they could cut to someone for a reaction. And well, they knew well, you that, are they the knew only that person. I would give a great reaction like I always do. And I got a ticket. Yes. Wow. Uh, wow. Do you want to practice some of those uh, reactions? No. All right, like I, no. No, 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 no. Nope. I got to save it. All right. Well, I got to save it up for the game. I mean, but it would seem like, uh, you, are you going? Are, did you get a tick? Uh, I'm not going because I. Are you competing? Paul, are you going to compete? Um, I didn't want to say anything. Oh, I have been training to compete in the Tokyo <gasps> Olympics. The Tokyo Games? The Tokyo Olympics. Are you, I have handed in my forms. You and filled I out have, all the paperwork? Yep, I sent uh, in my driver's license, my social security number, yeah. and uh, and a picture of uh, a car and the first concert I ever went to. Did so, you have to uh, do the thing where you uh, you click on which things have pictures of stoplights in them? Did yes, you have to do that? and yeah. then I picked a sport that I'd like to compete in. <gasps> what and by the get? way, what just, so, just so you know, it's not do always stoplights. Sometimes it's bicycles. Yeah, but what yeah. sport are you competing in and for which country will you be competing? Well, this is a great question. I will be competing for a Brazil. Uh, Brazil? Which is, Brazil, which is my native home. And yes. I will be doing uh, men's single skulls. Whoa. Yes. Skulls? Is that the sport? Skulls. Oh, like uh, the rowing, rowing. The, yes, the, Rob, yes. the rowing. Yes. Right, I'm going to be right. doing sing. So I get in that boat by yeah. myself. Called a boat. Skull. A skull. Okay. Skull. Okay. I, I, you I'm, know, I call I, I'm it, asking. I, I don't know. I'm asking you. You're I, well, I, okay. Well, no, I, it's well, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I just call it, I call it my whip or my ride. <laughs> okay. And that's why I think, I think that's why people like me because I have a, a very uh, non-respectful um, relationship with the sport. Um, yeah. But skulls are actually oars, Rob. They are oars. Oh. And and I do a whole thing where I um I do this bit where I take the oar and I slap my own ass with it and then I turn around <laughs> like, hey, hey, who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Right? Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. as I'm looking, I take the oar in the other hand, slap my ass on the other side. Like, hey, whoa, whoa. And that goes on. The audience is going, they're eating it up. They're I can't eating wait. it up. I can't then I get wait. in that, I get in that little dinghy. Yeah, and I just you know, I start. Yeah. Well, that's the oars. The oars are the skulls. And okay. I just, you know, you know, and yeah. I just and I and I just row the hell out of it because I've been yeah. practicing on my rowing machine downstairs. Oh, and uh, you know, and then you know, and then whatever. I get the prize. Oh man. Hey, quick question. Mm -hmm. You're competing uh from your home country, Brazil. What is the language Brazil. that you, what is the language that you guys speak in Brazil? Brazilian. Is that your final answer? 
Brazilian. Yeah. Brazilian is the, the Brazil. language, the spoken language of Brazil, according to you, is Brazilian. Brazilian. Uh, Asai. Asai. Okay. I didn't know about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, well, congratulations. Go, go, goji berry. Goji berry. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. I think Thank that you. is all and great, great news. I would love you to laugh, though, when I do my skulls. My oh, I, if you do that uh, ass slapping thing that you described, I, I, I'm telling you, the NBC people are going to, I mean, they're going to like great. it. I mean, uh, I think it's going to be great. There's not enough comedy in the competition. I feel I, like. well, I mean, look, this is why, and I, I think what I needed to do was, and you heard about the whole, the disaster with the slip and side show that was going to follow the Olympics, right? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is an, uh, this is true. There was an outbreak of diarrhea. Uh, uh, on the, to, yeah. to to clarify, it was explosive diarrhea. This explosive, is not this is, this is not, not a it. joke. Our friend Ron Funches hosts the show. Yeah, it's Ron and uh, Bobby Moynihan. I believe Bobby Moynihan. They host the yeah. show. Uh, it's called like uh, World's Greatest Slip and Slide or something like that. Yeah, I mean it. it, it and it was there a, was there was an outbreak of explosive diarrhea. And yeah. if you think we're joking, yeah, I'm just gonna pull it. up the I'm gonna pull Google up the picture it. right here so you can yeah, just yeah, see yeah, that yeah. we're not we're not joking. There it is. Now, now it was not caused by uh the slip. My first thought was, oh, someone on the slip and slide got water, you know, up there. That's what I thought. Booty, yeah. And so they got diarrhea that way. That's what you would think. It wasn't that. It was like I think just something like food poisoning or something on set. Oh, but like everyone okay. Everyone had explosive diarrhea on oh. the show. Well, because uh, I, I thought the whole idea was like you're not supposed. I mean, not to get into all the specifics. Don't, but you're not supposed by to the way, go we're, swimming. We're, yeah, we're at the top of the show, so let's be yeah. careful about. You know, there's a lot of suburban moms that love the show, and we don't want. That's offend. our main audience. Yeah, we don't want to. But I want to just say that this is a, this is a, a PSA, if you will. I, yeah. I was always under the impression that if you had diarrhea, you weren't supposed to go in the pool. Like that's the, that's one of the tenants. Of uh, pool ownership and of, pool yeah. use. Yeah, if you got if you've know, had diarrhea in the last twenty four hours. Yeah, you can't get you in. The don't pool. go in the pool. That's been my understanding too. I don't think that that rule extends to slip and slides, or or maybe the slip and slide. Really, you think it's sanitized after each one? I, I I don't know. I don't know the answers to all these questions, but. Thank goodness. I think everyone's okay on world's greatest slip and slide and not a joke. Uh, well, you know what? We should have Ron come on the show and he can address it. Uh, but by the way, I want, I just want to like be clear. He did not and have diarrhea and he Bobby did not have did diarrhea, not have but I want to be clear Yeah, that clear. when that, when that broke out, yeah, I did not break into the set of the ultimate slip and slide and slip and slide and then get diarrhea. I don't think anyone accused you of that. So that's so, like they a pre, a pre, uh, a pre forgive. I did. I did what not trying to say? I, I did. Well, yeah, like I did not Pollock my toilet. I did not do that. And okay. if you even thought about that, you know, uh, you know, I, I did not bring a splatter gun to a porcelain party. You know, I just, I don't think anyone not... even thought about that. I don't okay. even think, I don't great. think anyone even thought about that at all. Okay, great. Hey, let me turn off my Wi-Fi and make sure I'm on my land, uh, my hard line. Hold on right, a second. Yeah. I hope I don't lose you. Okay, well, uh, we do. Okay, we do, I can, I can uh, you know, um, I wanted do, to, we can talk about a bunch we, of We got stuff. a huge show. First of all, welcome to the show. Yeah. We got off on a weird tangent here about diarrhea yeah. and the Olympics. And I certainly uh, did not. Welcome to the show. Yeah, yeah. Did not get diarrhea while I was on the set illegally of ultimate slip and side. And as long now, as let that me is you, clear, let me ask you yeah. a question because now that you bring it up, I am curious, why were you even on the set? You're not competing. You're not part of the production. Well, um, to me, life is an adventure, right? Mm -hmm. And, uh, what yeah, yeah, then, yeah, you know, yeah, to me, yeah. it's about just getting in and exploring. When I heard it was shut down, I said, what a waste, what yeah. a waste for its giant slip and side is out there and no one's using it. Uh, yeah. And obviously there was concerns it was tainted with the, the, the fecal matter of some of the contestants who had the food poisoning. But I was like, well, that doesn't transfer to me. Uh, you know, I'm young mm. uh, yeah. and I'm successful. I don't get diarrhea. Right. And uh, so when I did it, uh, you know, that's, well, first of all, I didn't do it. And, and I didn't have, uh, you know, yeah, I didn't pollock my toilet, like I said.
I see. I see. Well, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how to address all of these allegations. Okay, yeah. So let's just, dro- let's just even, drop it. Let's we'll just drop, drop it. it. We'll drop it. We'll get away from this. Let's let's get back to welcoming people to the show. Yes, welcome to the show. If you've never been here before, if you've never seen the show, it's not a hundred percent talk about explosive diarrhea, right? We I mean, very rarely spend more than fifteen to twenty minutes per show. Yeah, uh, you know, talking about, talking that. about that. that. One yeah. time, one time with Manzukas, we talked about drinking breast oh. milk. Uh, that was very we, early on. We have that changed. Was our, we grown. learned our lesson. We did learn a lesson on that uh, because people yeah. got. Uh, I think some. You know, our, like you said, our, our our target audience is suburban moms, and I think some of the suburban moms that love, you know, that are sort of obsessed with you, obsessed with me, they became uh, turned off, I would say, to the show because we talked about and we're not doing breast milk, so we're much. not doing potty humor. This is not essentially good, yeah. uh, kind of a live streaming comedy show uh, hosted by Rob and myself. We, uh, I'm Paul Shear. We, uh, we and we and we uh, we do this show normally in L.A. Uh, yeah. And during the pandemic, we started doing it here. And uh, it's been great to have this great audience. We're actually doing a live show in LA, our first live show back great. in the world. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Smart, to think about smart, that. smart, Paul, it, smart to plug it. We should plug it. If you're in LA and you're watching this show, you think this show's fun? Oh, wait till you can see our torsos. Okay? Yeah, uh, you can wait see the whole you, thing. You can see... Wait till you can see what we got going on down here, right? And I just want to give an answer, though, uh, to this, which is just uh, the answer was Gilbert Cass. And that was uh, for the trivia question for people to get two free tickets. Uh, We had a ran a very uh, long month long uh, trivia contest. And you know that that was the answer was Gilbert Cass. So everyone who sent in the answer Gilbert Cass to our email, uh, you will get uh, two free tickets. And of course, the question was, which architect designed the Woolworth building in New York City? So that I didn't even that. know about the I didn't even know about the trivia. Oh, that's contest. been one of the, you know one of the big staples of this show is uh, every week we open up with a uh, classic trivia question, and that oh is, yeah, uh, yeah. I, uh, sometimes during I'll be honest during the beginning of our show I t- kind of tune out a little bit, so I didn't even realize we do a ongoing trivia question. Oh yeah, I mean we we, I we wanted- get people from all over the world, yeah. I wanted to address a couple quick things because the show this show is packed, Paul. I feel like every yeah. week the show's been getting better and better. And uh, this week, I'm excited about this show because I know what we have coming and I, I I can't wait for the show. I Sometimes I feel bad for the audience because I feel like they're kind of dumb and they're kind of like, yeah, yeah, they don't know what's coming, you know? So yeah, they're yeah, sort yeah. of like, uh, 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 the worst. Uh, the worst. Uh, what uh, what is it you know like they yeah. don't know and um and we know what's coming anyway a couple people have said in the chat they were worried about me because i was so hot and sweaty last week because uh, i as you know i do this uh i know that uh james cameron uh shoots your footage yeah I'm, james is here right now because soderberg had to take a week off because he was editing a new movie Oh, okay. And I'm shooting in a shipping container uh, in my driveway and it's still hot, but it's not as hot this week because last week I screwed up. I exercised right before, so I was so sweaty. That's tricky. Yeah. This week, I, I just, I'm not exercising. Uh, uh, I hope I, that people actually, and we've been actually advertising this a lot. We are trying to make this show a Peloton only show. Uh, so mm. uh, we would be you would only be able to watch this as you are doing, uh, you know, a two hour yeah, long ride. Does Peloton, all uphill ride. Oh, that's a great idea. Peloton should, by the way, just have a comedy channel. That would be, I would totally watch that. I want the, I want the little people. I want the people giving me my motivation in the, in a small screen. And I want the big people, uh, in the, in the big screen, uh, mm-hmm. You know, that, that's would be, that would be great. You know, uh, you know, but, Paul, yeah. I, I wanted to, um, real quick, address something that you brought up earlier you were talking about uh, psas and um you know uh without getting uh political at all because it's not political this is not um, the place for that we this is a place for us to have a good time but yeah but go ahead yeah well you know a lot of um i would say a listers have been asked to make psas public service announcements for the vaccine um I got skipped on the A list, but I I I'm gonna make one and just send it in. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, you, like, so you didn't get asked by President Joe Biden. 
uh, to like go to the White House with like Olivia Rodrigo. She got asked to do that. You did not get it. Just I, did, just I looked in my I looked in my spam folder and there wasn't uh, an invite in there either. So I figured I'm just going to make my own PSA and yeah. then send it to them. And then, uh, you know, if you want to make a PSA about vaccines uh, also. Yeah, I would love to because I actually I. Uh, I've donated a lot of money, obviously, to different causes. And, you know, Joe is always emailing me and texting me and being like, hey, bud, like, just need an extra five bucks, you know, or hey, bud, uh, what's up, doc? You know, hey, bud, you see Space Jam? I thought LeBron was good. I thought it was a muddy message, but mm -hmm. I really like the relationship between the father and son. I'm like, and I, and I, you know, to me, yeah, I think I was shocked that he didn't ask me when I saw Olivia Rodrigo, and I'm a big, obviously a big fan. Yeah. Uh, I just felt like, well, you know, but you know, let's cover all the bases here. Yeah. So I, yeah, I definitely yeah. wish that they asked me. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to go first or do you want me to no, go? No, I, I think you should go first. I'm, I'm going to just drop out and you can go first. Okay. Hey everybody. I'm Rob Hebel. You may know me and love me from, uh, all of my television projects and my film projects, uh, like children's hospital or uh, medical police, uh, transparent, um, let me IMDB myself real quick. Uh, I know this much is true. Uh, wow. <laughs> I've been on a lot of TV shows, uh, movies. I mean, going way back. Uh, I love you, man. You know, the other guys, the descendants, those are all great. What took, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just don't mean to interrupt you. Rob, I don't mean to, I don't yeah, need to interrupt yeah, yeah. you. Well, what do you, you do? Like I was this part of the PSA? Cause I just feel like it was kind of yeah, 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 normally yeah, PSAs yeah. are a little bit quicker. Okay. Uh, Paul, right, go. I'm not on the A list. I'm not on the A list. So I got to remind right. people who I am. By the way, I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I want to go back. I want to watch. I love you, man. I love Tevin, Tevin, the <laughs> real estate agent, right? Uh, just so you know, I'm going to edit this part out of my PSA. Got it. Okay. Cool. Bye. Okay. Let me go, please. Thank you. Okay. I was also in, let me see. Uh, yes, I was in the league a little bit. I was in spontaneous. Uh, someone said that, uh, you know, I've been in a lot of stuff. That's a, uh, you know, that's, um, I'm, I'm Russell probably getting on some the stuff. league. I was Russell on the league. Yes. I remember my character's name. I don't need. People jumping in here. Anyway, hey, the office. Up? Oh gosh, yes, AJ on the office. A few episodes. I can't remember. Mr. How Mayor. Ah, uh, was I on that show? No, I was not on that show. Young Sheldon. No, yeah. I did not. Yes, curb your what, Paul? Curb your enthusiasm. I was. I stole Larry David's newspaper. Uh, I was not <laughs> impolo impolite cell phone man. No, it's called inconsiderate cell phone man. And that's going way back. Fake Anderson Cooper. Um, yeah, if I had shorter hair, um, I, I, I take that as a compliment. I like Anderson Cooper. Is this uh, the PSA? Oh, I'm in the middle of it. Oh, man. okay. Sorry. I don't have editing software. Okay. Anyway. Hey, if you're... <laughs> If you're watching this, that means you're alive. How would you like to stay alive? Then, then you should get the shot because otherwise the Delta variant is going to kill you. I promise you that it will kill you. Just ask people, and I'm not making fun of anyone that has, has I'm getting off topic here. It's a deadly, deadly uh, 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 thing, and I want you to stay alive. Here's why I want you to stay alive, so that you can own the libs. Don't you love owning the libs and telling me on Twitter how much uh, you don't want to get the vax? Well, you won't be able to continue to own the libs if you don't get the vax to tell me that you're not going to get the vax. So get the vax so you can stay alive and tell me to go fuck myself. All right. All sorry. Right. Is that, is that it? Um, yeah, I kind of got off on a little it, bit. It of felt like it got, like, it felt like there was a part where you were really confused about what you were even talking about. Like you were uh, struggling to reach the word Delta variant and Delta variant. Uh, yeah. Cause I was thinking about that lady. Remember on the Delta airlines? Uh, yeah. Videos? Yeah. I was thinking about her Delta Lena and, uh, but anyway, I think name? I got the main All right, point so out that you there, got but, it. I, I, but I, but I wasn't, I want to say, I'm not making light of anyone that has died of this. I want people to stay alive. Okay. No, no one, no one. Is okay. Okay. That. I just, you know, I just get paranoid. Everybody gets so fucking bent out of shape. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little distracted right now because meatball is throwing himself around the room to, to what end? I don't quite understand the movie, man. the movie meatball, the movie meatball. He is, 
Okay, he's he's calmed himself down. I don't mm. know what just happened there. Uh but um, are you, you gonna know, Rob, do your are you gonna do your PSA? Yeah, can I no? can I? I mean, if it, uh, if it's short, I would keep yours tight. Mine, right, mine, keep mine tight. was mine was a little longer because I am uh, sure on the okay close to the closer to the A list. I would sure, say, sure, of course, of course, of course. You yeah. are. All right, so hold on one second. I'm gonna just get mine. Can I pop you out? Is that okay? Can I? Yeah. Can I ask you a quick question? Is yeah. yours for um, podcasters or is it for um, real celebrities like me? Wow. Wow. Uh, mine I just is don't know. For, I'm asking because I don't. Mine I don't, is for network know. and and pay cable. Okay. Okay. The gold standard. Okay. Of of fans. If okay. you can pay for it, then that's that's a that's a fan I want. Okay, great. If you can if you can pay nine ninety nine a month for Showtime, which is more expensive than Netflix, then I want you in my corner. If you can pay nine ninety nine a month for all of Showtime's great shows, I'm talking about all fifteen original shows that they have done over their last fifteen years of programming. You are one of my true uh, my true ride or dies. Uh, all right, so here we go. Uh, okay, this is pop, mine. I'm going to pop, pop you up. Do you want me right. to... Hey, what's up, girlfriends? Mm. I'm Paul. I'm 16, and I love fun. But you know what I really want to do? Have fun with you. Mm. That's right. You and me got to go to the club. But we can't go to the club if we don't get our shots, 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 shots. Now, I like Delta and all when I fly, but I don't like Delta and all when it comes to viruses. So join me. We'll sneak into a club. We'll get really fucking crazy and shit will be good. So get that shot in your arm and then we'll do some shots in our belly and then we'll be up to no good. Hmm. Hope. Yeah. Wow. Uh, are you done or are you still going? I wasn't sure. There's just so much like sucking. Uh, uh, I was going to say uh, the end of it was just going to be. And don't forget, watch Gossip Girl because I need to talk to someone about it. Is it still going? Because I don't want to be in it. Take, if, if, I, if this is it, I don't want to edit me out of it. I, I don't even. I'd like to oh, not. And the, the end is this. PSA. That stands for Paul Shear announcement. Oh God, I didn't. Yeah, I would. I would tweak the ending on yours. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like mine's gonna save more lives than yours. But uh, but seriously, everybody, I'm appealing your, to a different demographic. Because I'm appealing to the young. What I would tell, I, yeah, I'm just telling everybody, get your fucking shot. I, I feel like 100 percent of people on here have gotten their shot. I, I not to be overly serious uh, for a second, but did you hear this thing? It's like, uh, like 12 people are responsible for like 60 percent of the misinformation about the uh, COVID. Uh, Some, something like, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's some a, so yeah. crazy small. Yeah. Um, it's, it's yeah. really, uh, ridiculous. Uh, I posted something today on my Instagram, not to brag. I have an Instagram, no big deal. I pay a month. How do you, pay. how much, how much is, how much is your Instagram? 250 a month to keep it open. And then I get to do one post every other day. Mm. And if I want to do a story, it's $25 a story. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, part of that thing, uh, I was surprised. I was, um, uh, I was excited to see the reaction to uh just a little bit of a hey get vax because right now we're in a we're in a crazy situation here in la uh so much so uh that you know i think we're starting to see things uh, tighten up like five different shows shut down uh uh a, pre a preschool shut down like there's some things that are going on so anyway yeah uh i was surprised to see that people were very much on the same page uh and then but there is a handful of people that are, are not yeah. And you know what? Maybe there's just, uh, I'm going to say that you might not have the right information. So uh, Google it, figure it out. There you go. You know, the thing, the thing that I, th and then we'll not talk about this anymore. Yeah. But the, uh, I did see an interview with this doctor who said that like she's working in the emergency room and all these people are coming in there now that have not been vaxxed. It's like mostly people that have not been vaxxed who are like about to die. And right before they die, they're like, please give me the vaccine. And she's like, that, is not going to help you. Like, it's not going to help you. And like she said that like person after person after person is like dying. And right before they die, please give me the vaccine. And they're like, that's not, it doesn't. Well, I think that my you know. PSA is going to change some of those things. 
Yeah. Do you think? Uh, I think, I mean, again, I, mean, I think mine I was a little bit better. It's not a competition. Okay. It is not. Of a course. Okay. It I mean, I just gonna say, like, I just think that I, I think that I really spoke to youth in a way where yours was, yours, a lot was more. Your, yours was like, I mean, I, I will say mine and then we won't talk about it. mine sure. did mine mentioned a lot of my credits. So it seemed like it was a little bit self-serving. I think at the right. beginning, yeah, then yeah. it, then it, I think got better. Yours was like, was yours geared towards like kids? I couldn't figure out what the lollipop well, my was age group, about. your age group. And so what, what is your demo? Do you think in your mind? 14 to 18. Okay. 14 yeah. to 18 year old girls. That's my demo. Okay. I'm not in like, don't be weird. I'm not into that. I'm just saying that's my demo. That's they're my age. We have yeah. fun. But do you think 14 year old girls are going to clubs? Are there clubs for 14 year old girls? Okay. Uh, uh Oh, someone just aged themselves out of this conversation. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know that there are clubs for 14 year old girls, but okay, whatever. Um, it's cool. That's cool. It is cool. I mean, you know, agree to disagree. Yeah, agree to disagree. Uh, well, you know what? We do have uh, we do have some great guests. Uh, oh yeah, we, we have, got some uh, great we have... guests. Well, yeah, I mean, we didn't even talk about all the stuff, some of the other cool stuff going on in the news. We've been talking about some of the science, but we didn't talk all about the science. Some of the uh, this week with uh, the you know, there's a lot of cool space travel and a lot of really cool people going into space. I'm a huge fan of space. I love, love space. my favorite part of space is I would say outer space. Um, oh, me too. I know. And we're always talking about outer space. Favorite and space movie, Space Cowboys, Clint Eastwood, Tommy Lee Jones. They space still got Jam. It. Space Jam. Oh, you space love Jam. Space, yeah. space Jam, not in space. Oddly, uh, Space Jam has a harder time justifying the name in this second one than, than yeah. the first one. The first one attempted the, it. Uh, another space movie I love, uh, Office Space. I love Office oh, Space. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like but that. so I was really inspired in the past couple of weeks to see, I would say, colleagues or friends, friends of ours, uh, Jeff Bezos and uh, what's his face? Uh, who's the British guy? Richard Richard uh, Branson, Branson, the guy who loves riding yeah. a jet ski. Yeah. Like yeah, this yeah, guy, yeah. these, these <laughs> yeah. guys know how to partay. They know how to, yeah. they know how to work hard and they play hard. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, so I, I know that another good friend of ours, uh, Alan McLeod was riveted mm -hmm. uh, this week by uh, all of the space news. And oh I was gosh. texting with him and uh he he was kind of blowing my mind with some of his talk about about some of the space stuff. But so we can bring him on and talk. Yeah, to let's Alan. bring him on right now. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, I love Alan. This is great. Yeah, there there he is. is. What's up, buddy? How Alan, you doing, man? How are you, man? How's it going? <laughs> great Good, to see y'all. I have you look, to. You look like you're in outer space. Oh, I, actually, I'm inside a garbage bag. It's nice. A, oh, stretched, wow. It's a hefty bag. It's just stretched really thin. Or, cool. you know, really tight. I mean, really. Yeah, it yeah. looks great. It really looks great. Yeah. And I feel like that's the thing is like people aren't using all this stuff. To, like, I think, you know, look, we all saw Bo Burnham's uh, inside. Right. And and we like we're using our spaces in interesting ways. And I love that you're doing most of your stuff from in a garbage bag right now. Yeah, because I well, you can just get so many in one box. They give you like, yeah. 60 of them in one box these days you yeah. basically have a mansion in there if you put them all together yeah. you know, have you, have you guys ever i don't know if you guys have uh if you could afford this but i have tried those bags that smell they're like scented like they smell oh, the like Febreze lavender bags. Yeah, yeah. or man if you can afford it uh try one of those because it is a life changer it's great yeah this I, is, I, I like this it is, this one's just it's called autumn oh okay. yeah one of my cool. favorite seasons Oh yeah. yeah. I love fall too. I love fall. I think those smell very similar. Yeah. 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 I, well, yeah, I, would, I, would, I would argue that there's not much of a difference between fall and autumn. Well, potato, potato. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it depends if, uh, or unless it means fall, like you're falling, like you're falling off a building or something. Of course. Great and that, point. that, that Great the point. smell, the smell there would not be a smell that I would want to have associated with, uh, you know, garbage bag. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, or I, yeah, I think it'd be weird. Yeah. I would never get that. Cause then I would be, it would be disconcerting. Yeah. Right. Cause you'd be like, oh my God, I'm smelling like, like human death. But yeah. Falling. Oh, well, oh yeah. You're, so you're, you're saying that the scent is, is in midair. I, I'm thinking that scent is more like the, the cleanup. Oh, wow. The, 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 the cement is falling is actually, yeah, that would be, 
terrifying. Every time you got Ooh. here by your trash can, you'd, you'd feel like an, an anxiety. Hey, we're, 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 kind of, way. We're, we're, we're kind of getting wrapped around the axle here. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but I, I wanted to, I wanted to say something real quick. You know, I, I know I sound like I'm always bringing up my own credits, but I, I did a TV show for uh, Amazon, which is a great company. If you've never worked with them, uh, mm-hmm. I did a TV show called transparent and, and I got to be great friends with uh, one of the, uh, founders he's a genius guy jeff jeff bezos and uh recently uh jeff emailed me and said hey rob you know loved you on transparent uh thought you were so great in it and um i wanted to let you know i'm going up to outer space and um if you wanted to come that would be great and unfortunately i could not make it oh that's i, I had to yeah i had a schedule um thing because uh, my daughter had a swim lesson but uh, anyway, I turned on the TV the other day. I saw Bezos up in space and I was like, I, I was like so inspired. I was so inspired. And I, Alan, I don't know if you saw the footage at all, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was watching pretty closely, um, yeah. actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in this house, we call him Jeff Bozos. OK, let's put it that Uh-oh. way. Uh-oh. Let's put it that all way. right. Whoa. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. That's a, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> OK. I mean, this guy's a real, a real nincompoop, if you ask me. Okay, he expects us to believe that he really went to space. Wait a second. Wait <laughs> right? a second, man. I mean, is it, he's <laughs> it's he's Bezos. A, he's, he's as funny as marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Okay, another Amazon Prime show. I, I but I, but I'm gonna say, but uh, you know, we all saw the footage. Yeah, you we know, he, saw him in space. Oh, we saw him in space. Wait, so um, when you're watching, um, let's say the Expanse, right? That um, space sci-fi show. Do yeah. The they, do you think they shot that in space? Do you think that was uh, filmed live on a space? Ah, uh, I think you're getting I mean, at. No, I, see, I don't I see your hey. point. I think there's. A, I think it's two different things. I think one is television and movies, and then one is real life and science. You know. I, I mean, I, 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 I yeah. I mean, as David Bowie would say, this looks like a space oddity to me, mate. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, Does David well, Bowie ever say that? I don't even. It sounds like a bit of a space oddity to me, mate. David Bowie. Yeah. David Bowie actually said that. I know. Yeah, that I there think he was a, in a costume, like a Halloween. I know, costume. No, I know that there is a song called "Space Oddity," a very famous David Bowie song. I don't think he was ever quoted as saying. This looks like Google a it. space oddity. I mean, if you look up, what's the difference between him saying it like it's written? He said it. He sang it. He said it. Uh, Rob, I'm actually doing a Google check right here, and it is true that David Bowie has said the word space oddity. Boom. Hmm. I'm sure at a concert he said, Hello, everybody. It's David Bowie. Get ready for my hit song, Space Oddity. Hit it, guys. One, two, three, four. Boom, banner, boom, banner, banner, banner. Hell yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 sure he said the words. Right. Yeah. So we agree. Well, I think we're all, I don't know. Sounds like a space oddity to me, mate. Look. Oh, yeah, you bunch of you bunch of limey bastards. You want to go talk about the space oddity? Well, I got a whole song about it, like something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, anyway, that's what I expect. I yeah. that's what I expect he would he would say when he watched that hoax that took place earlier. Okay, this. Well, okay, wait, 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 okay. I have a question. Alan, about why why, why Alan, is yeah. it a hoax? I mean, the, he only went to space for ten minutes. What a fucking joke! Why go to space for 10 minutes? Do so you think oh, he, he, or... I've done sets on Twitch shows longer than 10 minutes? Okay? Uh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, but I mean, well, I guess. But... Yeah, I mean, that's not even, no one's debating that. I, I, okay. I, but I think that's a perfect it, analog. Well, I think what the thing is, Alan, is that um, there would be no motivation to fake a space mission like that. Like why, right. what does he get out of it? And certainly mm. there are a lot of other people there watching it, documenting mm. it. I think his brother also went his brother who is bald and looks kind of like him. It's supposed to be like a funnier Jeff Bezos, which I find 
impossible to believe that there's a I mean, funnier Jeff Bezos. And I'm looking forward to the movie because I feel like I could actually maybe even get in there. I mean, if it was me and Tucci, I feel like that could be kind of a fun pairing. I don't know. Again, wait, hold on. Great. Are you yeah, pitching? Are you pitching a, a space movie, a Bezos? Space movie star- starring you uh, and Stanley Tucci. I well, want to we, see like a big night with you two. Yeah, you and know, we're but, getting but, ready hey. for the big launch, and you know, and 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 like he's and I'm like I wanted to wear a cowboy hat, then he wears a cowboy hat, and I'm like, well, it'd be weird if we both wear cowboy hats, and he, and I'm like, I'm not gonna wear the cowboy hat, and then he's like, all right, I'll wear it, and then and then I'm like, reg- I'm like, I'm kind of regretting it the whole time because it was my cowboy hat, and 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 then there's like that kind of a fun like, and like you see like as this, the ship comes off, like take it and put it on my head but then the zero gravity the hat goes off and he grabs it back and it's like that's like that will be a lot of that'll be a fun set piece i'm glad you brought this up why didn't his hat float why didn't his well, cowboy oh. hat float? To, be, to be honest i did i have not watched i don't even, even know if there is cowboys hats float is there footage of yeah. him in like i i haven't googled it at all i'm sure there is D- did his space hat not float like uh, did it stay on his i mean maybe it just stayed on his head i didn't see it float what's it I gonna mean, what's good what's it gonna stick to on his head he's got nothing up there yeah there's okay. no hair there's no okay. hair pin. okay okay no I, 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 I just don't heads. i don't think that's why I, just, I don't think first of all that's not what paul by that logic you would not be able to wear baseball hats can you wear a baseball hat paul not in i don't space. see a hat on your head right now i mean it's, i've never done it in space like but, on but, earth it's well here's the thing on earth it stays on just fine because of what gravity okay um alan yeah. i just don't see how uh, one i don't get why he would fake it two um the i think guy runs a company it's a commercial for his company okay i'm going to i'm just going to i'm well, just going to well, pull this up because i, I just want to i just want to like pull up one thing here because I think it's important to like to talk about this. Uh, you know, there. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, here you oh, It's wait. a picture oh, of you. Uh, you can see. Uh, you can see this. There, oh, there is, is. That's Branson in oh, okay. space. Okay. There so is Branson. no picture of Bezos in space. Is that, that picture? That picture's fake too. Richard Branson what? is. He's not a virgin. Oh wait a oh. second. Is he's that true? Is that true? Is no, that Richard guy, Branson? He's had intercourse. He has a lot. He's had intercourse. He's had yeah. sexual intercourse. I mean, oh, there's yeah. that famous picture of him on the back of the jet ski with the naked woman. I feel like that that may have been a post-coital uh, jet mm-hmm. ski, whoa, or maybe whoa, it's whoa, a. Whoa, whoa. What, what maybe are you suggesting? Is, you, you have uh, you think Branson has sex with someone and goes, "Hey, I, I thought maybe after the, maybe because we made love, we could go out on my jet ski. Do you want to go with me?" I mean, Hell that, yeah. yeah. You know, it'd be it's, more like, uh, you want a guy to eat a virgin megastore? Well, that's my penis. And so now let's go and ride my jet ski. Uh, no, that doesn't even make sense. Virgin Virgin isn't even a record store anymore, I don't think. I think that oh, went okay. away. Really? Like, I, 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 like, that's where I get all my CDs, though. Would you Alan. like to see a space oddity, uh, uh, lass? Uh, look at my penis. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Alan, all of your impressions can't mention space oddity. They can't. I mean, he, they can, but it's like it's, you know, he's a fan of David Bowie, right? He could be. He could be. He has Let to me be. Ask, so, 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 according to you, Alan, both of these billionaires faked their moon l- launch. Their whole space program. Moon did, launch. It's, it's it's all fake. It just it's didn't happen. Fake. Bezos is laughing at us. His, did you see the shuttle? The the shuttle. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, well, yeah. The one that I mean, it was made fun of a lot this week because it looks a little bit like um like a penis. Yeah. Or, Can you pull up a picture of it, Paul? Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, I drew a picture. Well, no, yeah. that's a penis. No, it's a shuttle. Can that's you draw shuttle. that? That that looks like a that does look like a penis. Can you uh, can, can you draw it? <laughs> Oh, 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 that's what I, I think no, about. No, that's what I think no, about it. That's gross. No, that's, that's what gross. I think about it. Well, maybe that was just fuel. Maybe that was like rocket fuel. It doesn't out of the come top. out. That's of what the they top. said. That's what they said. Because that's what the only recording that came away from that was Bezos going, oh, "I'm coming fuel." 
He said that. Yeah, no, that I'm was not something. To... Oh. Let, a- Alan, let me ask you this: If Prove it was me wrong, if it was fake, then wouldn't there have been some sort of backlash on Amazon? Like, wouldn't we? Wouldn't people say like? Oh, forget it. I'm going to boycott Amazon. I'm not going to use Amazon anymore. Like that's a risky. Well, why? Why would they do that? Because you'd be so furious. I would be furious. I'd be like, hey, man, I love space and I love space movies. I love Space Jam. I love Office Space. I love, uh, you know, other movies with space in the title. And now I'm pissed. So I'm not going to order from Amazon anymore. I, I, I got to say, Alan's point, and this is somebody brought this up here, you know, Prove him wrong is an airtight thing. Like, yeah, what is our proof? Thank I mean, because like all we have right here is like we got these four liars. Mm-hmm. Wait, this yeah, one, who, this one who's, especially. Who's that? Who's mm-hmm. that hot lady? Who's the hot lady? W Funk. Yeah. W and Funk. She, yeah. Is that a She's nickname? Got the, this poor woman, they tricked her to thinking she went to space. Oh She's wait, like, so they don't even know. She doesn't even. They don't even know. They look, look, look. Okay. She thinks that she went to space. You can you can be inside a shovel. I mean, they don't right. know. They don't they think they went to space. Okay. Oh, oh my, like they, oh, they're they're not even, ride. It was they're like not, but they were right. like it was like riding the Simpsons ride, you know? I mean they Yeah, they, yeah, because I, I thought I was real. inside that. Uh, All right now I, I will I will say, I mean, I will just say that like there is um I'm gonna just pull it up here. There is um this footage. Uh, mm. you know, uh, of the shuttle in there. I'm going to pull it up here just so you can see it. Um, okay, hold on one second. Uh, let's make oh, it this is going to f- this is going to humiliate I mean, Alan. I there, it, there it is. I mean, that is that is. Um, well, that looks like Photoshop, um, Paul. Hmm. That doesn't help our argument, Paul. That looks like well, Photoshop. that's that's a, that, that is. I think it's touching down here. You yeah. said footage, Paul. Footage implies oh, footage. Okay, let me. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll get you footage. I'll get you footage. Yeah. Right, sorry. All right, hold okay. on one second. And who's the kid? Who's that sexy kid that's on there? They brought oh. like a. I'm saying that they brought a sexy. He's boy over with eighteen. Them. He's over eighteen. You can say. Oh, well, that's that not right. that's not right though. Okay, yeah. All right. I'm I just mean, saying it, that they brought a very sexy boy on the spaceship with them. Whether or not they, they want to get the, they want to get the sex appeal. You know, they want to get it, make it sexy, and that's what they do. They bring him, and they bring a lady. Yeah, yeah with yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Mia Farrow haircut. Yeah. And Bezos, uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going to pull it back on the screen. This is, this is, um, you know, you don't have to hear anything, but we can just see this. Now, is, is this a clip from the expanse? No, no this is, no, this is actually, like wow, look at that dick. That dick is going. Well, okay. First he's laughing at us. That he's might be us. animation, Paul. I think that's animation. I mean, now that I'm watching it, it does. What's the, uh, I mean, so what's the, cut. what's the moon base going to look like a big juicy butt? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Alan, I mean, that's, yeah, that's not cool. What's it going to look like? I mean, a, th- a that, pair of voluptuous breasts. That uh, what's it going to look like? That looks pretty real, Alan. I think we may have proved you wrong. I think Paul did a little. I could pull up digging. any video on YouTube and find uh, stuff that looks like what? What? What's so your what, favorite so, space movie? Uh, office space. space cowboys okay space. and it looks like they're really in an office in office but this actually is yeah. a good example they weren't in an office they were on a set oh god jeff bezos has access Whoa, anytime he wants to amazon studio <laughs> so you can see a dead body right there well okay but then like... now you can clearly see bezos inside the capsule well that's that could be well, his brother we don't the know. kid died in this mission the, the kid, kid died? died. Yeah, I mean, it's even though it's fake, the kid did die. They have not. <laughs> they shook it too much. He got shook around too much, and he. Uh, oh, because they picked him too late. They didn't know that he got motion sickness. Oh, oh shit. man, that's rough. That yeah. is rough. And that happens yeah, to my let, son all, all the right, time. All right, well, let, let, I, let's just see if if they are let, you allowed. What if, what if they came out and they like all had like alien costumes on? Look at Bezos. I don't think that. What do you think? The cowboy hat floated and landed right on top of his head the same way. Yeah. So that. So you're saying that sexy boy right there hugging his father, his rich father. <laughs> yeah. He didn't die he immediately. Was. He died. Um, oh, he died later. Not long after this hug. I, wow. I gotta say, I gotta say that um, giving your whole family cowboy hats is a, is that that's a, that's a real that's a real thing. <laughs> too many cowboy, too many cowboy hats here. <laughs> That kid paid his daddy paid twenty eight million dollars for that twenty eight million. 
oh worth God. every penny. I yeah. I feel you know actually very invested in this because I've bought many a product from Amazon and I know what do you buy? What do you like? What and do you did like you, to buy from did Amazon? You, did you do that since the rocket launch? I, oh, yeah, good I, question. Good question. Oh. You, so you're saying that oh, Amazon? No. So what? What do you Things mean? That make you go hmm? Mate, what do you, you mean? Are now? right? Are you saying, are you saying that? Uh, that Amazon now doesn't work for some reason because of the space thing or because Bezos is dead or what? Well, I don't know what you're saying. Oh, he's alive and he's rolling in the dough because he just, everybody's buying from Amazon. You know, right. All of a sudden, no one knew about this little company. And now this is a basically a giant advertisement yeah. to buy mm. like your hammers yeah. and scrub daddies on, uh, on Amazon. I mean, now, like, of course, the minute yeah, I, I saw that, I'm going to get a scrub daddy. Brick and I mortar see. bookstores are done. Okay, that's my prediction. Oh, wow. I see. Wow. All right. I see. I see. I'm I see. done after this. Wow. Um, wow, Alan, you kind of opened my mind. You, yeah, you kind of I, mean, I don't my know. Mind. This is this is really controversial, but I don't I don't know if I fully believe your theory. Controversial, that this was you know. Old. I mean, I just hope that they don't start teaching SRT in schools to our kids, you know. What's SRT? Space race theory. Oh, do, you okay. know what? You know, know, okay. They start getting that in there. I don't there, even, don't even want to. Like, I don't even. You're gonna wanna, indoctrinate our kids with this stuff. People I don't even want to. There's, them. there's nothing. There's nothing wrong about space race theory. It it is, space. Okay. You don't think I, any human ever did this? What? Wow. Wow. Okay. You know what? This is. This is now. Now this is getting. Let me ask you this, yeah. Alan, and theoretically, because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I know that you're married and you have a child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If a very beautiful alien landed, mm -hmm. you know, somehow in a field near you and your wife was like, you know, looking the other way or she was away on vacation or something like that. And the alien came over and like telepathically used its Ooh. brain. And I don't know whether it's male, female, maybe aliens don't even have male or female, whatever, you know, maybe it's all like starfish maybe it's just unisex you know but they're beaming like sexual energy at you and you're wow. again mm -hmm. your wife god bless her she's away on vacation yeah we like yeah you know and, and and let's say even i'll i'll even give you this little detail you guys got into a big fight you know and oh, she god. said and your mm -hmm. wife said like you know screw you alan you know uh -huh. and you know and so did the fight guys, get physical you, or anything or no, no, no. Yeah. She hit you. Okay. Uh, she oh, hit you like a few times in the Ooh. face, you know, but with like an right. object with like a, uh, I'll like blast a you into space. You fucking Alan, you space oddity. I'll make you a no, space No, 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 no. His wife He's isn't British. British. His wife isn't okay. British. But we all, wife, watches, we all have a little a bit of, of British. She watches a lot of Peppa Pig, and so she's picked yeah, up. Yeah, that is true. So, yeah, so your wife took, uh, like, uh, you know, a kitchen, something in the kitchen and hit you in the face a couple times. Ah. And then she stormed out of the house, and you were like, oh, man. And you hadn't done anything wrong. You really hadn't done anything. I never did. So all of a sudden, you go out, and you're on a hike, and this alien – starts blasting like sexual energy at you and mm -hmm. clearly mm -hmm. it's going to be consensual but the alien wants you know some sort of like sexual you know uh relation with you at least momentarily would you go through it go through with it well first i'd ask my wife for a hall pass you would just and like that movie we'd, we'd watch the movie just to, so to yeah. refresh her memory, what that is. <laughs> and then if she says no, then I bonk her on the head and then go fuck the alien. I think uh, wow. And I, wow. I, and I, and I, wow. I, I there's so wow. much I want to unpack there. I, I, there's so much I want to unpack. I just want to like for a second. <laughs> he's, he's looking around. He's literally looking around the room to make sure his wife doesn't come in. Well, right. she's not in the garbage. I hope she's not in the garbage bag. Uh, I, I, I don't, don't say this. That's why I'm in this garbage bag. It's a double ply. It's a hefty. And there's shield that won't hear a thing. Um, that's why they put the, all the, the bodies in there whenever, you know, whenever the mobsters put bodies mm -hmm. in garbage bags. You know I mean? But mm -hmm. here's my question. Can we just take a moment? And go, there was a movie called Hall Pass about guys who wanted to go like <laughs> take who was, like, who was in that movie? Was that Owen a Wilson? Uh and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe it was Sedakis. I don't know. Uh Charlie yeah. Charlie Day, man, I can't remember. Uh Sedakis and, and Owen Wilson. What a what a I mean, I think that I think the joke of the movie was like the guys want it, but then the girls get laid and then the guys get upset. 
because they can't get laid. Like, I think that's like the premise. Oh, of it. yeah, 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 yeah. So like, yeah. Uh, is that a is that a movie that you go? Ah, it's such a weird. I it's tell a you, weird, I, yeah. I tell you who gets a hall pass is uh, Bezos. Well, Jesus. I just want I just want to show you, Alan. I've been very moved by what you've had to say here today, and you've I been like moved. Gonna... You've been moved by his conspiracy theory that Jeff. So much Bezos... that I just made this. <laughs> yes, thank I you. I don't yeah. think that's cool. She's like, we, uh, I we think I get this information out there. I'm trying yeah. to remember her story. I think she was a woman She's that a... like wanted to be an astronaut her whole life. She was a Mercury stunned. astronaut. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was. Actually, I think denied a space flight. Yeah, from what correct. I yeah. And so Bezos said, "Hey, I'll take you up." Uh, um, He's like, "I'm going to trick her into thinking she went to space." Mm, Alan, that's not. I, I don't. I just don't think it's fair mm. to to spread misinformation about space on here. There's so <laughs> much. There's so much misinformation. Yeah. That, well, I, just as long as they don't teach it to my kid, that's that's what I. That's all SRT I man, SRT. Right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Alan, for mm -hmm. being here. Thank you Thank for you. setting us. Thanks, straight. Alan. And, and you know thanks what? for those Alan. PSAs too. I went and when I after I saw those, I went and got the shots. I went. Well, and you got should have oh, gotten so vaxxed a long time ago. Hey, it's yeah, all, I went hey, got we, both. Well, you yeah. know, we all at our own pace. Yeah, okay. get it, get it, get whatever one fits you or your lifestyle best. <laughs> That's what I always say. You know, Thank it's you. like yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, See you, Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Oh man, that was so great to talk to him. So it great. is great to talk to him. You know, I ran into Alan recently at a uh, kid's birthday party, which sounds uh, worse than it is. I was invited. Oh no, you're to, a father. I, yeah, I'm a father, and I was invited to the party. Legally, I was allowed to be there. Alan was there, and uh, I love seeing. I haven't seen Alan in like a year. Um, Alan to me is one of uh, one of the people who, whenever I see him, makes me laugh so hard. And you can watch him on his Twitch page right there and his Twitter page. Uh, and whenever he's in something, it's uh, it's something that I always am, uh, I I enjoy more because he's in it. Yeah, uh, for sure. Um, Paul, the show so far. I'm just looking at the ratings right now. Uh, the internet ratings. High. The super ratings high. are great. Well, I mean, because we're talking about issues and we're talking about big, and then we have a, actually a huge guest coming up. And I think the reason why it's topical. why people are tuning in is because new not only we're we talking about Jeff Bezos, 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 um, but we also ah, this is big. Um, Rob, I didn't tell you this, but we got Ronald McDonald on the show Wait. tonight. Who? Who from Ronald McDonald? The clown from, from McDonald's? Yes. Like Not just the mascot, but the owner, CEO. My childhood hero, yes. Ronald McDonald, is on the show? Yeah. Molly, can you bring in Ronald, please? Oh, my Ooh, God. hello! <laughs> <laughs> happy McDay to do you! A happy oh. McDay, Ronald. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You look great. Oh, wow. Yeah! Yeah, man. I'm, things are looking up, but they're not really. You got to pay a lot of money to those employees now. Yeah, Wait, I've been thinking about this. You've been in the you've been in the uh, the news a lot because McDonald's is uh, they're kind of expanding the minimum wage. Or I, I don't know if I'm getting it all right here. Uh, tell me what's been going on. Well, it all goes back to when McDonald's used to open and enforce a, a community a ownership franchise policy in the '70s when we were expanding into black communities. So okay. we lied to a bunch of black communities and said, hey, you can open your own McDonald's franchise. But yeah. when push came to shove and we were supposed to donate food to a breakfast that was being run by uh, the Black Panthers, yeah, we went, no way. And then they firebombed one of our. One of our wow! I did and not under I did not know this this history. So cool. I did yeah. not know about <laughs> oh, any yeah. of this. The way yeah. the this news is being presented in such a like a upbeat way, but it's really dark information. You got to keep it all happy. You can't yeah. ever let it drop. I mean, listen. You know the amount of piss in a McDonald's ball pit could fill three buckets if you no. want to string them out. Yeah, uh, and that's before no. COVID. Now we have five buckets of piss in there because oh. it's sterile. What? Oh, oh why? Uh, oh, yeah. because it, like, like the piss is actually the piss is actually cleaning the ball pit. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows piss cleans ball pits better than nothing. Oh, anyway, I don't know if that's true. I'm not sure about that. Then we Wait. abandoned the black community. We stopped doing outreach for franchise offerings. 
Plus, the fact is, is most of the people opening those McDonald's franchises were white businessmen investing in black neighborhoods and then driving down the price of property around so they could buy it up. So we have a long history of exploitation, not just in the black community, but in the working community. We make up for it with incremental uh, wage increases. Our average wage is eleven dollars an hour. <laughs> okay, all right. Wow. That, that, now, yeah. Let me ask. Let me ask a question. Isn't I? I don't know exactly. Is the national minimum wage like seven something? So is eleven? Are you saying that eleven is good or no, or Rob? Not, uh, not not good. No, eleven is the bare minimum. But the oh. other thing that people don't talk about is the fact that in order to get fifteen dollars a w- uh, an hour, you have to be a floor manager, and there aren't that many floor manager jobs that may uh, populate uh, out of uh, uh, r- uh, work from within. It's people who get hired by headhunters on the outside. But we got to uh, keep it going. Wow! Listen, wow. you you want to make. You want to get a poutine or a mashed potato burger or a melon float or spinach and Parmesan nuggets. We've had to cancel all of these test food items because of these greedy, grubby workers who demand clean, sanitary work conditions, health care and wages that are breaking Uh, my back, baby. Okay, okay, well, hold on. Wait wait, wait a second. Ronald, come on, come on. This is weird because I thought Ronald McDonald was like sort of a benevolent figure. Figure. I mean, like the Ronald McDonald house is for kids, you know, that are yeah. like, you know, sick that, kids. All yeah, kids sick the kids. C. But yeah. I always just say they got the little C because they're tiny. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Kids this got is, the little C. No, big no. Big boys no. got the big C. I don't like this. I don't Listen, like this. Listen, my is like- dad, you're talking about my dad, Ronald McDonald. I'm Ron Jr. My oh, dad okay. died. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say is this guy like I mean kind of like Jack like you, I mean what's your relate do you have any relationship with like Jack like from Jack in the Box because I know he has, is that his is he a son too Jack's Jack? my cousin oh we don't talk know. about Jack Jack's a little funny you know what I mean he's always been in the box he won't come out it's okay. like Jack right. everybody knows everyone knows why you're in the box Jack just right. jump out of it for God's sake it's this a new is- world. This is a bummer, man. It's like I don't want to meet my heroes, and then you meet them, and it's even worse than you. Ooh, you know, I do, I do, I do, I, 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 I do want to going, talk about it. I do want to say, like, oh, sorry, go ahead, Rob. I'm sorry. Well, I was just saying, like, when I was little, my parents took me to a McDonald's, and and Ronald, I think your dad was there. I was I there met too. him. I, I met him, and it was so fun. I think that was probably the first clown I ever met. And for me, going to yeah. McDonald's when I was a kid was kind of like a treat, you know, oh, like yeah. our family didn't really eat out a lot. And when we did, like yeah. we would go there and I was like, oh, this is cool. This is like a real treat. And now to like meet someone behind the scenes like this, it's really kind of disappointing. You know, I mean, it's kind of a whoa, nightmare. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm not my dad. Okay. I'm sort of like Sherry Lewis's daughter. I keep doing the lamb chop act, but nobody wants it. Okay, but here's yeah. the point. It's the yeah. point. Wait a minute. I remember because I was just a little clown back then, Rob. Yeah. And my dad said that guy's going to be a big celebrity one day. Oh, okay. Oh. He's going to not be like internet famous like, like Paul, <laughs> well, but he's going to be, yeah. you know, he's going to be like TV movie famous. Yeah. yeah. He's got said, that right. Shut up, dad. And he said, Stop moving. I'm modeling the chicken McNugget off your gnarled penis. Oh, okay. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, oh, my God. Ronald. Yeah, All right, hold on. Let me, let me, Every let time me, you eat a McNugget, you're munching my cock, baby. Okay. Oh, okay. my. All right. Let me, Paul, let, what, let, what were you going to ask, Paul? What were you going to I was going to just ask. All right, well, I obviously, look, minimum wage for a very large company is a very sticky subject because, you know, you you are you're reaching up. But as far well, as like, you know, as long as like, do you do things like uh, tuition reimbursement or Paid vacation or, or, or health paid insurance. Sick leave. Is there, yeah. is there health insurance for workers? Like they gotta have health insurance, right? Oh yeah. Oh, let me just uh, figure that out. Well, there's medical insurance. There's a prescription drug card. Dental insurance. Vision okay. insurance. Wow, generous. Why am I doing giving this all away, man? This no. is bullshit. Are you okay. kidding me? Four hundred one k stock purchase plan. McScholar's okay. tuition matching program? 
Holy shit! Wait a minute! I gotta cancel all of this. No, no, no! no I wasn't no, trying no. to get you. I wasn't trying gone, to get you. Gone, gone. I was no not trying to. Discounts. Well, you brought up all these programs, and now Ronald Jr. is gonna cancel them. They're okay, already no. done. I just check a box. No one has health care anymore, and well, that's on there, you. What about? Well, okay, now, I, the, now one of the things that I saw online was that you have a budget tracker app on your website for employees that show you how to live on the budget that you are giving them per how much you're getting paid. And one of yeah. the solutions that you gave them uh, in how to budget the money that you're paying them is to get a second job. Yeah, of course. Well, hey, uh, you want to make those fucking bills? You got to work double time. That's good advice. You think some lazy shit who punches buttons behind a counter to Mickey D's and then slaps a few rants and onions on a burger patty really can earn a livable wage? I mean, what kind of subhuman existence is this? Oh, my God. Okay. This is really That's interesting. all I'm saying. So, this wait is a so... I'm just saying. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're telling me that some schlump who's, who rolls out of their wheelchair and gets into the McDonald's because they only want to stand in their fat two feet for maybe three four hours in their half shift oh, this guy that sucks. diabetes yeah. that that bucket of diabetes oh. has the balls to tell me i should pay them more than they're worth they're lucky to get two cents out of me oh jesus man. this is hardcore man but this wait is... a minute There's i don't think i'm gonna... at the end of the rainbow oh here okay. we go that's not yeah. the expression that's not the expression there's a there's a light at the end of the rainbow there's a okay. pot of gold in the tunnel but no, there's, it's not. there's you put all your eggs you put all your eggs in an Audi. Everybody knows what? these. No, what, no, these that, aren't even you, put all your eggs yeah, in an yeah, Audi is not a thing. What's the what's the good news? He's gonna tell us some good news, I think. Yeah, Maybe here's some good news. We have figured out how to pay our employees, not fifteen, okay. but twenty dollars an hour. Oh and great. Oh. I got a bit of a sense of humor. I'm a clown. We haven't canceled any of that health insurance. In fact, oh. McDonald's, McDonald's is doing better than most corporations when it comes to providing for their employees and giving oh, okay. and Great. promoting community development from within. But more importantly, we have gotten rid of this is going to be great because it's going to save people's health. No more dollar menu. How about no, that? No, no, no. That's people, the thing that I mean. Right, I think yeah. people really need that. Menu because we're going to take those dollar menu items and staple them to our employees' checks to round up to $20 an hour. Wait so a second. So you're giving yeah. McDonald's no. coupons? Mm. You're putting McDonald's no. coupons? On. Oh. Not a coupon. I'm stapling a McChicken single. I'm stapling an extra small fry. You're no. going to get your check with three or four meal items and no. then just a coke and when you staple those they leak so you got to be careful with the check because uh, it breaks apart oh, you can't man. deposit it and we'll charge you 25 bucks for a reissue this is such okay. a wow. nightmare this is a, can we can we just talk about just something a little bit more benign just general sure, trivia yeah. about mcdonald's like what yeah is i've always wanted to know people always joke about the mcrib like what what's in the McRib? I used to love the McRib sandwich, and I could right. never understand why they don't just have that all the time. Why is it well, a special thing? This is an interesting thing. Roy Kroc, you know, the man behind who financed my dad, a clown, a simple clown, who became the mascot and owner of McDonald's. Roy Kroc, I'll tell you what he did. Yeah, he partnered with something uh, military pro Pentagon project called project project utero and this Wait, was something oh project utero was the idea of breeding super soldiers by what? using protein sequencing in pre-released dna studies done in the 1960s what? and we had figured out how to actually create super soldiers without the fetal membrane or the what? need for a zygote that's right my what? dad was a scientist clown and we worked on this actually strangely enough this year is very weird for me because we worked on this in partnership with the wuhan lab and what? Yes, oh my god no joke the wuhan lab and we made what were proto super soldier fetuses this was just before vietnam this is why vietnam went so badly my dad along with Along with uh, 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 Henry Kissinger and a number of uh, people in a group called 
Team B, who devised a plan to launch these super soldiers into Vietnam. And boy, we take them out. Who cares if we cut through them? They're not human. They're just protein sacks with brains. This is insane. Anyway, long dory shores. We, long dory shores. We failed. The super soldiers, they would abort. They'd self-abort about, about at this point. This is the point at which they'd self-abort. And I oh. said, I remember I, my dad told me this story. He looked at the Wuhan scientist and Roy Kroc. He said, what are we going to do with this? We got like five, five billion of these fetuses, super soldier fetuses. They've all stopped growing. And he said, hey, if you look at it right, doesn't it look like a little bit like a cartoon rib? Oh, no. And, oh. and everyone oh. went, yeah. And they oh, went, no. hey. I got an idea. Oh, no. My dad went over and poured barbecue sauce on the fetus of the super soldier. Oh, oh, he put no. it between twos. At the t- we only had access to buns because you know, oh. we were in China. Oh. I've been anyway. eating I've been eating super like aborted yeah. super soldiers. Yes, and it's aborted super soldier. But they can oh. activate it any time. And if they do, if you've ever digested one, they will fucking grow out of your stomach and crack oh. you open like a rotten eggplant. Oh, oh, like 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 Watto or like Alien Watto from Total yeah. Recall well, or Alien. Really, <sighs> I mean, Watto didn't really crack open as much as he resided in the stomach. Yeah, like, he kind of uh, just like lived in the cave. He yeah. just oh, lived God. inside. Ron, Ron, let me ask you a question. I, 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 for Watto. I forgot the name of the uh, Michael Keaton movie where he plays uh, Roy Kroc. Isn't there a McDonald's movie like? Uh, uh, oh yeah, McDonald's from a couple of years ago. Yes. Movie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that. Yeah. I don't I know, know if you the, saw the, the movie. The founder. Yeah, the founder. Yeah, Total yeah, bullshit. Yeah. All lies. Yeah. Oh, you all didn't lies. like it? You didn't like it? Are you it? kidding me? I mean, you <laughs> want to talk about? That's a complete lie. Okay, first off. My dad was there from the very beginning, clowning, oh, no. hanging out in the bathrooms, hanging out behind the, the store at the dumpster. Okay. He was selling premium quality H. This guy, he was really. Talking about dad, heroin? Your dad was selling heroin? No. What are you crazy? He wasn't selling heroin. You said premium H. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Well, that, that would be heroin. Premium helium for fun balloons. Oh, oh. I'm a clown, you assholes. All What's right. wrong with you two? Why are you always going so dark? I'm sorry, right. I'm sorry. You're right. I got you're a right. PSA, you're right. by the way. I forgot I have a PSA I'd like to do. Oh, it's uh, part of the yeah. McDonald's Corporation. Right, here, we'll give you the full screen here. Hold on. Here, here, here. Hold on. Facts here, about here, McDonald's. Here. Sorry, here, here we go. go. Uh, here okay. we go. Hold well, on. Let's I'll show on. our screen see how much McDonald's searches has happened. Here we go. Hey. Sometimes you can't have it your way. I understand. It's ridiculous. The government is lying. COVID's a myth. But the truth is that the Delta variant is a new lie. And it's worse. What? No. Oh, God. Because no. There, no. no. Because there, we're starting McDelta shakes. These what? are the most incredible no. shakes. They're filled with Delta variant. You no. can go to your no. local McDonald's. No, 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 no. Don't yeah, get yeah, the yeah. facts. We're not, we're not Don't doing get the facts. Paul, get it's a lie. Get rid of them. It's a lie. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. No, no. Get rid of them. I'll get you. Get rid of them. Get them out of here. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. That was not. That didn't go the way it should have gone, Paul. And, you know, we talked before the show and I said, are you positive that Ronald McDonald, like that this would be be a a fun fun thing? You know, I I, I was thinking the whole time I was thinking like, you know, I have great memories of McDonald's yeah, yeah. when I was a kid and it's summertime. I thought maybe he'd talk about the McFlurry or, or, or fun summer menus and stuff like that. He literally just railed against his employees and figured out from your suggestion how to get rid of helpful programs. For uh, that was employees. a mistake on my part. I apologize. Uh, I I think we should have look. 
It's a very nuanced conversation running a giant corporation. And I think that we have been a little too easy or a little bit too hard, I should say, on these CEOs tonight. When you look at a Jeff Bezos uh, or you look at... Uh, you can Aron pronounce the Z. It's not Bezos. It's Bezos. Oh, but Brazil is Brazil, not Brazil. All right. So, uh, you know, when we bring him on, I, I, I just feel like, look, I get it. There's a lot of things that we don't know. You know, I was going to just ask him, like, you know, fun memories and you know does he does he really wake up at four in the morning to cut those apples for the apple pies you know that kind of stuff yeah i i, I was i was surprised at his candor uh when he came in and, and did reveal um the the whole thing about how they kind of uh got themselves into inner city neighborhoods and and then uh yeah yeah you know, I, was, I don't i don't I, I didn't know the story of mcdonald's that sounds pretty terrible I mean, it, you know, but I'm going to tell you this. Uh, I was bummed because I thought we were going to, I thought we were going to have Anthony Atomic, who is one of my favorite people. Uh, he's you know, hilarious. Yeah, He's hilarious. He's got a brand new podcast uh, coming on called All Things Comedy. Uh, it, that's a, that's the a network. And it's called The Phony. The Phony and the Collie Show with him and John Gemberling. It's coming oh this fall. God. It is on All Things Comedy, The Phony and the Collie Show. So you can find that. Uh, wherever podcasts are heard coming this fall. Uh, oh, and I cannot wait because really the two of them are uh, two of my <clears> favorite people. Be, Again, this is, a, this is, a, this is a, a, a night of some of my favorite funniest people. And uh, yeah, yeah, so I cannot wait I just, for the, uh, the I don't like the, the way I don't I don't like the way that you're um, sort of trying to apologize for these CEOs, you know, like Jeff Bezos and uh you know the mcdonald's corporation it seems like you're sort of apologizing um for them and uh you know i don't like that i think it's very hard until you've been in their shoes as a multi-conglomerate uh you can't speak to it there's certain problems they're gonna have like i mean what would i what would you do if well, I, I mean so rob rob ronald, you to, you ronald mcdonald was attacking his employees and calling them worthless i can't rem even remember how terrible it was. it was like these worthless sacks of diabetes or something like that like you know it was really All right, well how about this I i'll just bring you I i'll bring you an idea you run a multinational uh corporation Great. and uh you have to you have to okay how about this you gotta you gotta get a, a you know 500 burgers out in an hour and every one of your employees is to take a piss at the same time and roughly I mean, okay. I, I think I would be like, let's, I think I would be like, let's just not let you piss and let's make the burgers because like, like you're here to work, not piss. I didn't pay you to piss. Right. <sighs> I mean, I know this is just a hypothetical yeah, and I'm, hypothetical. I'm, 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 I know I look like a businessman, but I'm not yeah. a businessman, but I bet you there's a way where we could stagger the bathroom breaks and continue the burger making operation. Yes, and again, people in the chat are agreeing with me. I don't trust the chat. First of all, you can't say, you know, people in the chat are on my side or whatever. The, the people in the chat, you know, some of them are, we, we don't know some of these people. Some of them are real wild cards. You know, a lot of them drink during the day. A lot of them are addicted to prescription drugs. I know that for a fact. Um, but my point is without even being a businessman, I think that there's a way to schedule the bathroom breaks and allow us to keep making all right well you'll that. never get ahead in business that's all i'm gonna say rob uh you know i i, I you know i don't want to again we're really hitting a lot of controversial subjects i i do want to maybe talk to some of the people from the discord uh because we had an idea today that i think is going to be a lot of fun which is show and tell and we gave people uh, we gave people one requirement you're going to do a show and tell from your house you're going to show us something that we couldn't possibly have in our house. Like that mm -hmm. was the idea, right? Like that's, that basically yeah. is the, the premise. I, I got to say, this is, this is um, a welcome respite from the rest of the show. The show has been uh controversy from top to bottom so far. And we've lost, I, I I'm looking at the numbers, Paul, cause I get the yeah. numbers every few seconds. Yeah. We've lost over 600,000 suburban wow. moms during the show tonight. And part of it is the continual sucking. Uh, I will say that we've been getting some feedback. They don't like the eyes. They don't like some of the moms before they logged off said, please ask Paul to stop sucking the lollipop and wagging his head back and forth. But and how he, many, how many, um, 
young club, in cl- clubbing club young ends that we get not yeah, many, a lot not not many not because they're already at the clubs like the kids that you're trying to get are already out at the clubs um so anyway yeah i'm excited about the show and tell because one i like to interact with the audience i you know i sort of make fun of the chat a lot and sort of like try to diminish them a little bit to keep them yeah down but when we interact with them i always do like seeing who's out there and and the idea of a show and tell, I think, is a great idea. Yeah, thank you. This is uh that's uh Bombo Shea time. They're you know, they're young and they're fun, they're having a good time. By the way, just so you know, I know you always ask for proof of June. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get that proof because she is out of town. Let me ask you about that, Paul. Uh, because I do want to get to the show and tell. But um last week I told you, and I was very clear about this. I said, Paul, mm-hmm. You know, I think I said something like this, Paul, you're, you're a dear friend of mine. I've known you for a long time. I think you're super funny, great guy, great family. Uh, I think I did a reading at your wedding. If I recall. Yeah, you did. You read the, the space oddity quotes from David Bowie. Uh, Yes. I thought that was a weird choice. The point I'm trying to make here is I gave you a week to give me tangible proof of June. I asked you to take a picture of you guys all together with a newspaper I got that so that I could, so that I could see it. You have the picture. I I think, yeah, just give me a second. I'm going to get it. I just have to, I have it on my iPhone. So I just need to get it so you can actually see it. Okay. Cause I I just, you know, it's getting, the summer's getting, we're getting late into the summer and I haven't seen her. And a lot of people are getting kind of worried, honestly, because of of, course, of of course, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where this is coming from to be honest, Paul. And it's because of your friendship with David Miscavige from Scientology. I know mm, that you guys. He's the best. I love that guy. He's uh, fun. He's not. And his wife was disappeared. Um, and so right. I'm wondering, you know, now if you got some inspiration or some ideas. No, about, that's disgusting. Uh, it's despicable. Okay, great. So please uh, hold on. I'm just, I'm just, I, you, yeah, you just needed me to give you the proof that she's well, here. Well, a couple right? weeks ago, your kids, Twanch and. Uh, and right. Uh, you saw her. You saw and, uh, a la- you saw like a lazy vanilla ice is your other son. Yeah. No, no, they came. I saw your kids come in, and then I saw a woman from behind with mm-hmm. shoulder length hair that looked vaguely like June, but that could be a body double or someone in a wig. So what I'm asking you for is photographic proof, not photo. That my wife is here. Yeah, that your wife is is alive. That okay, she's great. alive and she's safe. I got it right here, and it just came into my computer. And hold on one second, Molly. Can we pull that up? Yeah, here we have it right here. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, that is no, 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 no. Paul, even I'm not a trained detective, but looking mm-hmm. at this, I can tell that this was a long time ago. One, um, she's pregnant. Uh, at this time. Congratulations. Thank you. No, I'm not not congratulating you. This was a long time ago. This is uh, before Twanch and Vanilla Ice were born. Also, looking in the background, I see some clues. The movie Ghostbusters. Okay. That was a long time ago. Fine. Ghostbusters 2. I'll even give you the benefit of the doubt. The new one. That's not possible that that is a recent picture. It's not possible. So my question remains, where is June? Uh, I think that, okay, well, I think you have a lot of, I mean, uh, I did what you wanted. You didn't, Paul, you, you, you typed on to an old photo. I'm alive, July, 2021. And okay, that's well, not, well, well that's, let, let's break it. Let, let's, let's break it down later. Let's break it down later. All right, let's break and, it down I, later. I, 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 but let's, let, let's do a little bit of the show and tell. Uh, can we get, great, you know, great, we, great. Yeah. So, the, so we're going to go around the world and see what people have to show us and tell us unusual objects in their house that will um, hopefully lead to um, fun discussion and and I love and, that. Okay, yeah, let's let let's bring on our first person. Okay, great. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? Good. How are you? Hello. Hey, Good. what's going what's, on? What's your name and where do you live? Uh, my name is Jack, and I currently live in Massachusetts. <laughs> you said Jack. currently. Hold hold on, we got to drill yeah. down on that. You said currently, Jack. <laughs> Does that mean uh, that you will not be living in Massachusetts uh, soon? Uh, correct. I go back to Los Angeles next month. 
Hey, Jack is one of our one of our one of our star uh, moderators on the Discord board. We know Jack uh, right. as a, a writer of a Black Monday fan fiction script. We have talked to him on the Song of Your Life, and I oh, was excited great. to see that Jack is going to bring something good. He said he's going to come to the next Crash Test show because he'll be oh, back in L.A. True. I hope yeah. that's true. Okay, great. right now he's in Massachusetts. You get to leave nice Massachusetts to come into the hotbed of covid activity are you excited to do that again once again yes <laughs> so jack what do you have in your house that you think we don't have and i'll, I'll tell you i have a lot of crazy stuff in my house so I'll, I'll be interested to see what you got you might actually have this thing because it's actually pretty easy to buy but i have this thing oh what my goodness the fuck is that jack can you show us yeah just just do it and then let's break it down do it <laughs> no <laughs> what <laughs> what is that yeah yeah this, this is an automaton and it's like a musical instrument toy out of like japan oh my god can you do it a little bit more so i can see what it can do oh yeah I don't know how to play this thing. No, but you I play I, it beautifully. I, that's the most did an beautiful. amazing job. Yeah. Wow. That's <laughs> it. I got to get one of those for my four year old. Can I get that on uh, Jeff Bezos's website? You most likely can because this is where this came from, actually. Wow. And you have to you have to move the mouth a little bit to get some of that reverberation, right? It's like yeah. like yeah. But what? <laughs> this is like one of my favorite things i got one of these when i went to japan what do you um, call it what do you call that thing an uh, uh an auto monotone or yeah or auto, automaton, what you, i think automaton that's, yeah at least that's what it says on the back oh my gosh it is available on amazon molly has put up the link there uh okay, wait, so now, that you, to be clear this is, not just, an, this is not anyone can just type that in this is... <laughs> anyone can just type that in okay. you see that you can just type, type that in. in i'll leave Amazon. it up there for a couple seconds <laughs> automaton anniversary special english version dpbo956 <laughs> um so this is not a commercial for amazon have i been tricked into a commercial for amazon paul no we're we okay. this is a commercial for the automaton which is paying us separately from amazon Okay. Am I being paid or you and Jack are being paid? Uh, Jack is being paid and I'm getting a cut of what Jack got because I got him on the show. I was able to get him up on the list. So okay. like he's paying me like like the when the bouncer kind of lets you in, like he's slipping me a little bit of money on the side, but it, but he's getting the bulk of it. And by the way, here's Jack, another another good link for you guys. Just another oh, short link. Thank yeah, you. yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't able to, 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 to copy it all down. Jack, let me ask you a question. If you're having a party at your house, and things are starting to get a little a little slow, you know, it's starting to thin out a little bit. Would you bring out that toy as like a, you know, let's keep the party going, guys. Don't don't leave. I got something cool to show you. You know, is that is that what you use it for? Absolutely. A hundred percent. Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't, I don't have that. I have a lot of cool stuff in my house. I don't have that, but I'll probably uh, give uh, Jeff Bezos some money. What would that run me about? Let me guess. Uh, $600. Wow. You know what? You're cl you're close. Oh, how much? It's more expensive it's like than you 25. think. It's like $25. Is it oh, really? Well, this unless, one, this, this yeah. one is specifically. Yeah. The 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 tenth oh. anniversary one, the special edition one, that one is uh, fifty bucks, fifty bones there. Wow! And let me ask you this: Are they anatomically uh, correct? Do they have little oh. genitalia? I'm I'm asking for a friend of mine. Uh, <laughs> no genitalia. Uh, well, I think it's way. above its head, right? Isn't oh, that oh, isn't oh, that oh, isn't I that what you're I playing? Think, oh, I think you're I grabbing on its oh, sensitive areas. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. That's about why that. it screams, okay. probably. I see, I see, I see. Hold and on, Rob. I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna get Meatball out of here for one second because I think he needs. He's being weird. So I'm. You keep. You keep it. I'm gonna drop out for okay. one second. Jack, can you can you do a little uh, solo for me? Do you mind? I'll, I'll give you the floor, and you can do a, a little uh, any song you like. Okay. <laughs> That's 
for someone that came on who said, I don't know how to play this, you just cranked out like joy. What's it called? Ode to joy. Uh, yeah. pretty, pretty amazing. He just cranked out like a very famous classical song. I know that song as the Die Hard song. Well, that's not really what it's. I mean, it's yes, it's in the movie Die Hard, but, um, you know, well, that's John great. McClane. You are a real space oddity. <laughs> Right, that's from Die Jack. Hard. Who, Jack, who's your favorite character in Die Hard? Have you seen the movie Die Hard? I have not seen the movie Die Hard yet, but yeah, it is on my right. list. You don't have you see seen you don't the see Kevin it. Hart Roku show Die Hard? No, but I do have a Roku, so I should probably okay. Check yeah, it out. check it out. You know, it was a Quibi, and now it's a Roku. So uh, definitely get on that. It's uh, John Travolta, fully bald, with Kevin Hart. <laughs> uh and you know get on it get on All right. it great um, job jack, jack. great Thank job you, jack. Jack. congratulations on uh wait on wait your... hold on. wait before you let him go somebody just put did you play this for little john or is that a joke somebody said that jack told me he, that he played this for little john is that a joke it could you be a joke. And, yeah joe knows me very well he knows that this is correct i <laughs> What? Well, wait a second. How do you not you, leave how did, with that? How do, not, how do you know Little John? LA. That's wait. So you saw Little John out and about, and you had this with you, and you played it for him? Oh, ab absolutely. Absolutely. Wait, is this a bit? Is this a bit? If it's a bit, it's I whatever. Yeah, it's a very bad bit. All right, all right, I think, all right, all right, all right. I got other I, I would have all right, that was it seemed real enough. All right, get out of here, Jack. All right, uh, right. All right bye. He had me. He had me. He had me too. It was All enough right. weirdness that. Oh, uh, Rob, I do have another picture of my wife. Just, uh, just so you know. Um, okay. Hold on one second. I, I just, I was while we were talking. Molly is texting me the link to <laughs> the the automaton. Yeah, which is um, really helpful. Molly, our uh, producer. Oh, here, here's another. All right, so here's a picture. You wanted a picture of my wife, a present day picture yeah. of my wife. I just and, don't uh, think I'm, I'm already suspicious, and I haven't even seen it um can you zoom in on that a little bit yeah that's the uh, front page of the uh of i can't get it i can't zoom in because well I can you read to me what the just uh, to today's verify. paper drug distribution um and J johnson johnson re reach a 26 million dollar a billion dollar okay, so, deal to so end. you're suggesting that you are holding today's paper in this photograph is that what yeah. you're suggesting mm -hmm. okay so you're saying that was from today yeah, like this week, I think. Okay. Well, she's out of town today, so it was from like yesterday. Okay, and so your beard, because I saw you yeah. a week ago at yeah. your house, and you did not have that beard. I grow; it grows quick. When it doesn't grow on your head, it grows on your face. Okay, I don't think. May, yeah, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt with the beard, but it doesn't look like you're holding that newspaper, and that was the requirement. Okay, yeah, that, that thing you get that. I, I got you. I got you. I'm on it. I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. Um, um, all right, so let's see who else we have here. Um, we yeah, have the show and tell have, yeah. so far has been great. I love Hi. it. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Great. Mm -hmm. How are you? What's that cat mask? Oh, wait. Try that again. No, we, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. How are you? I was asking I'm about that, that cat behind you. What is that? You might remember it from the original dating game you guys I did. Was gonna say, yes. That was my mask. Yes. I yeah. love it. I love yeah, it. It's a, and it's so uh, yeah. what's your name and, and where do you live? Uh, Leah. I live in Chicago. Yeah. Great to the see city, you, Leah. Yes. The city that, the city that never you. sleeps. The city that never sleeps. What, uh, what do you have to show for us, Leah, that you have that you think we don't have? I think that you don't have a giant sculpture of a Chicago hot dog. Wait a second. What? No, I, I do not. No, I do not. Okay. I want to see it. Okay. All right. I'm going to move my camera because it is giant. Oh, boy. What? Whoa. In the. No. Oh, oh, oh no. no. She broke it. I didn't break oh. it. Oh, right. up. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. So it's got Whoa. the sport peppers, tomatoes, onions. I got to tell you, I never had a Chicago hot dog until maybe about eight years ago. And I'm like, I, that's how you eat a hot dog. That's delicious. Now, and what this is, is that, making me hungry. Yeah. What, what, what why? The, how do you have this? What is it? Did you make it? What is it? My dad made it for me. Oh, I, my God. I used to live in a loft and he thought the loft needed a giant hot dog. So he made it for me. Is, is your, your dad? dad a, yeah. 
Go ahead. Is your dad a cat? My dad is a cat. This is my dad. <laughs> is your dad a sculpture, a sculptor? He is. He's a sculptor. He does. I've got a lot of art in the house by him, like screen printing sculptures. Whoa. Um, so posters. I've got a, a sculpture of uh, the David's torso. I've got my giant hot dog. I've got... Um, Amazing. Are you a hot dog fan, by the way? Like, is that like, are you not like a vegetarian? And you get like, do you, do you, are you like, is that a perfect <laughs> hot dog for you? Like, would you, if, if that was a normal size hot dog, would you be like, yes, nailed it. That's what it's I want. It's a little too much is happening on it for me. Okay. I like a more it. basic okay. hot dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like a hot dog that's a little less embarrassing to eat in public. Okay. Now, <laughs> would you, uh, when your dad gave that to you, were you, what was your, like, can, do you mind reenacting your yeah. reaction? Like, just go back to the moment and sort of like, <laughs> just reenact exactly just the 10 seconds of like, right when he gave it to you. Yeah, I went to my parents' house uh, just for like a weekend. It wasn't a holiday or anything. And I walked in and there was just a giant hot dog in the kitchen. And he was like, I thought, I thought your loft needed a hot dog. And I was uh, very surprised. Yeah, well, it's it's not often that you get a hot dog sculpture from a loved one. Uh, no. I, I and I, I are you gonna I, are you gonna are you gonna act out how surprised you were? Just act it out. Oh. It's we're all friends. <laughs> Rob, why don't you play her dad? And, and okay, you, yeah, I'll, I'll be your I'll, dad. I'll, I'll drop I'll, out. I'll, I'll be I'll be your dad. I'll be your dad. Okay. Uh, Leah, look. Uh, uh, I was in I was in your loft the other day when you weren't there, and I just wanted to tell you that I thought you needed something, so I got you this hot dog. Wow, Dad, a hot dog, a whole hot dog, three whole feet of hot dog for my loft. Wow, it feels like Man, it, see, it, it feels great. like one of you was not was there for it. And I'm going to say, Leah, it feels like you were the person that was not there for the actual thing. <laughs> no, she did great, Paul. Not everyone is as good of an actor as you, Paul. No, I'm just joking okay. with you. Leah is one Rob, of the best. I, I Leah... say Rob does a very good Larry Jones. All right, let me ask you this, Leah, because this is actually a question. I, I have This is a pet peeve that I, I truly do have, um, which is when people give you art, it I I find it to be an offensive quality because – I feel like it's a very personal thing. Now, obviously, this is made by your dad. So there's a whole different mm -hmm. relationship to it. But it is saying, like, I am now making you have to display something that I like that you had no say. It, 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 it's like they think the people say, don't gift a dog. You know, like, mm -hmm. I, I, I've never been gifted a car, but I would imagine the same thing. It's like, it's a very personal decision. Do you like all the art that your dad gives you? Do you like talk to me about that relationship with it too? Because you kind of have to at least pretend that you do. I've been lucky that almost all of it I've been able to display in my house. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There have been some t shirts that I added to a t shirt quilt because I couldn't wear them out. By the way, I love a t shirt quilt. I need to find a place to do that because I have so many great t shirts and I, I've been looking. I got to do it. I don't even know what a t shirt quilt is. Let me let me try to do the math okay. on this. I'm imagining I can that you take go to my bedroom and bring a podcast yes. t shirt quilt. Yes. Out. Yes. 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 And Leah, yes. I need a yes. link. I need a link. Okay. I will. And, and I would argue that that's another thing that she could have shown in the show and tell that we don't. Well, I definitely, do, I definitely don't have. A, uh, I don't have a t-shirt quilt. Rob, do you, where, where do you fall? Where do you fall on the uh, the art given to you? Do you ever get art given? All right, here we go. Oh, this. I is do. Art. Whoa! Oh, okay. look at that! Look oh. at all. Yeah, this is amazing. This so your is name amazing. is on it. Yeah. And and this is all right. So these are all. Oh. Look at that! Amazing. These are all all right. So this is a very Chicago theme. Very Chicago t-shirt quilt. The, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's yeah, a yeah. There's yeah. a Jason Manzukis. Give me your baby one. I love that Amazing. shirt from the Amazing. Chicago shows. There. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is a custom. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that. It's a great. How did this get made? One. Incredible. For those of you so, who are wondering, Fast Nine episode is coming out next week. Next week for Fast Nine. It's just and one then more I week had it embroidered. Let's see if I can show you this. 
with it, I was like, this will be a good COVID something. So I had it embroidered with the date of the shutdown and the date of my first vaccine. But whoa, whoa. Oh, oh wow. wow. I'm seeing a little wow. Wow, look at that one year. Wait, wait. The lockdown 313. Wait a second. Wait. <laughs> There's a typo on the on the on, <laughs> on the, the, back on the That's amazing. Oh, it's funnier that way that you're allowed, you're celebrating a lockdown that is like less than 10 days. <laughs> the week long. But it's oh, I will man. I will put the That's... link in the chat. It's a great, it's a really great company, and they did give me a refund on the embroidery okay now that can, is, is the t-shirt quilt so do you do you take all your t-shirts and you send them to a company and they send you back a quilt yeah gosh yeah. what is the, what is the name should we plug them i don't know how it works let's Paul. plug them let's plug them yeah, yeah. what's the name me, of the company well i don't worry I, I don't know i mean maybe memory. if it, well if you like oh them, it's I called mean, memory stitch memory, memory stitch, stitch. Okay. memory stitch i thought they were outstanding Wow. And honestly, the embroidery typo makes it even better. I kind of think that makes it special. Yeah. It means gonna... I get to make lots of jokes, and far in the future, a historian will be very confused. I, yes. I, I yeah, love yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Leah, that was awesome. Great job. Great job. Thank two you. items. Two, two amazing two home items. Runs. Two home runs. Memory um, oh, Paul, oh, you, you just got rid of her so quickly. Boom. You know what? That's it. Leah Aww. is gone. We love Leah. She is great. Another She's great member great. of the Discord. I'm going to say uh, my mom once gave me sculptures of like a married couple. And I was like, what the fuck am I going to do with this shit? And uh, <laughs> and and uh, I, I hid them so much. And then was uh and then was and then what i would do was i would put them back out when they would visit and then in the putting them back out one time when they came to visit it fell off the counter and then broke and i i was relieved and i didn't even try to fix it i just was like oh, it broke that was it it felt like i i was free of the curse of the artwork i i just now I, wait I, yeah. didn't your mom also give you some christmas figurines like um like aren't there oh, aren't don't I you mean, have a bunch of like christmas dolls that this you Christmas have like doll a whole, thing is like forty or fifty. Like uh, this Christmas doll thing like, is a whole, is a whole thing. And like, yeah. You know, it, it, different... Basically, what my mom, it, it, the way that I describe anyone in my family, and, and June included, when she's around, and she's definitely alive, is they all hear a to bit. Be, to, TBD, if your TBD. wife is alive. Yeah, uh, they all hear a bit about what I like, and then it is like a variation on that theme. So like to me, I, I've told, I've told the story before, but when I went to college, uh, I was setting up my dorm room and my mom's like, I'm going to go out and get you some sheets for your bed while you set up your room. And I was like, great. And she came back in with all these Tasmanian devil, like Warner brothers sheets no, and no, soap no, no, no. and like a toothbrush holder and all this sort of stuff. And I, and I was like, huh, what is this? And she's like, well, you love Tasmanian Devil. And I was like, I like the Sega Genesis game with Tasmanian Devil, but that was about the beginning and the end of it. And yeah. so she bought me all that stuff. So the, the first couple of weeks, because I didn't have any money to buy new sheets, I was sleeping on Tasmanian Devil sheets in a, in a Taz toothbrush holder <laughs> where you put the toothbrushes in his head. It was like a whole set that they bought at Bed Bath & Beyond. And then... Um, the chat I, has so many uh, alerts for your story. Oh, I know, I know. This is, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> June, like uh, there was another time where I I said to June I was like uh, there was an amazing like during the quarantine there was an amazing uh, they did a lot of these live shows from London like they were just taped beautifully uh, taped and then you could pay a fee and watch them and and they would who, do who free. Um, I I feel like the National Theatre Company of London would would uh, put up free shows like for like a week or two and they were amazingly cast shows that had been in the in the repertory. Uh, in the past, you know, so there's this one guy who did this show that was so fucking cool. It was Bo, Bo um, Burnham. Bo Burnham. Bo yeah, Burnham. I, saw it. I saw it on Netflix. It was, it was basically the idea was like he had all these microphones, like a, a like AMSR microphones, but they were much better. That they're, they're almost like little ears. So you put ASMR. in this head ASMR. But they were so basically you put your headphones in and you be like, okay, so we're going over here right now. And they would walk around, and as he moved around the space, like the idea was 
you were supposed to watch the entire show with your eyes closed. And he created this amazing visual. It was on it was un, it was one of the most exciting ex theater experiences i've had because your eyes are closed and he's creating this big thing and every now and then you might peek i talked to manzukas about it he's like oh, i watched the whole thing i never closed my eyes um it, but it was amazing because if at certain points you might look at the stage and the stage was completely yeah. you know he was just like go, going around it was, it was fantastic so i told june i liked that and yeah. then uh and then june for my birthday got me uh, a set of those ear microphones and i was like well i <laughs> I, I appreciate this. I just don't know when, when, when I would when I would put on my own uh, uh, my own head microphone show. That's but like great. so yeah so yeah it's uh Are but people, it, yeah. do we have more show and tells? One more. Well, two more. Yeah, I guess two more. Yeah, sorry, two more. Okay. okay, let's go see what we got. I love that. By the way, I love this segment. Yeah, this yeah, is an amazing. Segment. I remember this guy. I remember uh -huh. this guy. I hey guys, hey. Name. I forgot your name. Tell me your name uh, again. I'm Jeff from Charlotte. Jeff, and you pitched us a business on Shark Tank, right? I did, and it's very successful. Thank you guys for investing on it. Yeah, no problem. We were happy to take that idea from you. I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was. I know well, it's, I it, it started as an app to uh, help you identify what your parents are trying to tell you, but then it turned <laughs> into some kind of you know tag to keep children from getting kidnapped and yeah oh yeah, yeah. we were stealing yeah, yeah. them from Child. senior citizens yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a whole thing, but yeah. very lucrative. Great. Very yeah, we're lucrative. Gonna implant, yeah. We're going to implant surgically implant tiles into kids in case they get kidnapped, and then I think we were also going to kidnap the kids to drive up sales. Is that right? Right. I, that was an or that was my side business that uh, that I was going to announce publicly. But yes. Well, I'm glad yeah, I you have to show that it works. I need yeah. to look at my finances, but I'm glad that I invested. I think it's done well for me. Um, Jeff, tell us about what you got in your house that you think we don't have. So. Very appropriate to the times. I have a Salt Lake City Olympics 2002 torch. Topical. Official, Whoa. Uh, official uh, Olympic torch. Now, was that uh, the? Is that was was that actually uh, at the Olympics? Was that like? Um, or is it, it, like... It, it was. It was not a used one, so okay. it wasn't one of the ones that the people ran across the country and lit the I torch see. with. Um, so my mom worked for the Red Cross for over twenty years, Whoa. and mm -hmm. uh, one of her clients was a big sponsor of the Olympics, and in appreciation, they presented her with wow. uh, with the wow. torch, and uh, then it just stayed in her closet for about 15 years and she gave it to me. And eventually I hope to put my daughter through college with it. Do you wow. think you could sell, you think you could do that? You think you could sell that for that? <laughs> I mean, uh, Paul, I mean Paul, you don't, you know, maybe just Paul. pay for the books. Yeah, yeah. Paul, you sound suspicious and you know, it's demeaning to Jeff. I mean, he's saying that, I'll you give know, you 15 he, bucks cash. No, no, Venmo don't take, don't, oh, I'll man, Venmo don't, it to don't, you right now. Don't right now. Right. Let me yes, ask you a question. Jeff, thank let you. Me ask, yeah. let, let me ask you a question, Jeff. Yes. You're in Charlotte. It's the weekend. You're having a party at your house. Mm -hmm. Tons of people, like a ton. People are doing Molly. People are cranking mm -hmm, so music, mm -hmm. funneling beers. I mean, it's fun. It's right. really fun. People are like stripping down into their bathing, into their underwear, jumping into your pool, going crazy. So fun. An so, average weekend. Yes. Yeah, snorting ketamine in the bathroom. But mm -hmm. then it starts to thin out a little bit. People start to leave. At that point, do you get the Olympic torch out and say, wait a second, guys, I got something kind of cool to show you before you leave. So this is actually what we use to light the bongs with. Whoa. So, Whoa. so we, uh, so you get high with the Olympics and then that wow. draws the people back. Wow. Uh, again, I'm going to ask it because I'm, I, maybe I'm too tired today. Please tell me, is that true? Are you really using, do you ever like that to light a bong or no? I, I never, I never, you could. <laughs> I, I, I would love I to see do it anything. Lit. I would love to, to see it lit. You know what else I you know, could and do I appreciate that? it. I appreciate you know, your honesty. You could, you could do jeff is one of those really cool gender reveals where you take the olympic torch and then you like light a bunch of woods on fire mm -hmm. and you know and then you go hey, it's a boy or you know whatever a girl you know it doesn't matter but um you could use it for gender reveal parties i would say you could use it for a lot of different things the cool thing about that is you said it, that was from the salt lake olympics 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, Salt so Lake, it's like uh, probably probably a lot of Mormons have been involved with that torch. You know, I think are, I think yeah. Mitt Romney uh, was the one of the uh, people that uh, organized the Olympics yeah. or oh, yeah, 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 something yeah, that yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. So this definitely has For some sure. uh, Romney For on it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's got some I love that. Romney stink on it. Jeff, what yeah. does your shirt say? Uh, uh, giant bomb. Uh, it's uh, my favorite uh, video game website. Awesome. What's awesome. oh okay? I like that. This has been amazing so far. People are bringing out the heat as oh, far gonna, as like oh yeah. the show and tell is going to be a recurring segment on this show. I mean, I mean the ratings. Is, just, yeah, because yeah, I got to check the ratings. I did get the ratings. Yeah, what do you get? Suburban moms are back. They're back. Oh baby. my god. And this is big people, news, Jeff. You brought him back. The Mormons. Yeah, yeah. just got the Mormons. The space. We got the Mormons Woo. torch. Woo. So that's that Let me ask great. you this, Jeff. Jeff, as you stay here, I want to show you something for a second, okay? Because I, right. I was having this conversation with my friend today, um, and I want to just ask you a question because we're talking about all things here. Um, hold on one second. If if, uh, if I show you this, hold on. I'm just gonna get it. Um, okay, hold on. Just give me one second. I have to I have to prep it the right oh, way. Well, so you. Well, in that i'll ask you jeff jeff have you seen paul's wife june lately i haven't seen her i was curious if you've seen her not lately uh, i there was some uh some blurs in the background with twanch that could be That's anybody right. see uh, i got so, a new i do have a new picture i do have a picture i have a picture of her right here okay let's see we'll check it out uh, here here check it out there i am there i am mm -hmm. uh, okay yeah. it's you yeah. and yeah. Uh, June and Jay, we're all of us hanging out. We're like recording an episode of How Did This Get Made? Not, is that supposed to be today's newspaper? That's what I'm asking you. July 22nd, 2021. Okay. Paul, what I'm saying is that's not a newspaper. Your whole that's that's not your that's Photoshop of a website. What? Wait, hold on. Let, let me hold on. First of all, that's not a newspaper. It's. Uh, I think it's from a website. I mean, I I, I see you the think. date. I see you the think. date. Don't be so cocky. It, it is. That's that. I mean, how many pictures I have to take with my wife of the newspaper? She's going to start getting suspicious. All right. <laughs> uh, let me ask you this. Do you know, Jeff, what this is? Ooh. Uh, is I don't actually know what that is. I, I would imagine it's okay. some kind of uh, gas lamp sort okay. of ig gas ignition. Lamp. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, uh, Rob, think, oh you, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good. I think that's like one of those old like car cigarette lighters. Maybe. That's exactly what it is—a car huh. cigarette lighter. Now I'm I was, dating myself, Jeff. You, Jeff, you may have never even seen that because you look like you're about like 18. You used to be able to smoke in your car. I mean, you can still smoke in your car, but they used to give you a lighter that you would uh, push in, and then it would come out, and that coil would be fucking like red hot. And you well, could light you know, your cigarette, and that was free. They just put that in your. They, car. they just throw that in there. Yeah, they don't with, do with the with the CD like, player and satellite radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not yeah, even exactly. no wow. tape player, tape player, tape LP, player. and 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 vinyl record player in the trunk. Um, they, well, what does this I, have to do with anything? We were just talking about like lighting something up, and I and I, it started to make me think about okay, you know you I can't, use that. Paul, you, Paul, you can't just hijack the segment. I the, just the, think, the, the yeah. Show, this is a very scriptly, uh, a tightly, a tightly scripted script, yes. show. And Jeff comes on here. He knows all of his lines. He's memorized his lines. I, I I've know, and I my lines. I'm and from you, that. And then you start. I'm like Robin Williams. I'm like I'm like I heard lighting bongs, and I was like, ooh, lighter. Oh, so, and I was like, does anyone know what this lighter is? And I was, I was, and I was like, ooh, I'm like, I'm like Dana Carvey here. I'm just feeling the moment. I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. I didn't like it. I didn't like the move. I thought uh, I thought it's diminishing to Jeff. You know, Jeff comes on. He's got a cool thing. He's trying to share that with us. We're all having a great time. We're laughing our asses off. And then Absolutely. you, Paul, frankly, uh, kind of uh, make the whole segment, t you know, Thank tank. You. Thank you, Abracadabra. That's so, not the uh, name. That, Go so yes, I, I kind of have to defend myself here. If you had shown me that second picture, I wouldn't know what it was right away. Of but course. how often do okay. we see the cigarette lighters? Exactly. Yeah, okay. It, From the it's business an end. attempt. It's an attempt to make you look dumb. And Try, that's what I don't throw like. me off my game. That's what I don't like. Jesus that's Christ. This I is kind of like. this is the kind of reason why Jeff, you're a hard person to do business with and invest in the company with. Now, anyway. Jeff, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You've been in business now. You've been doing someone was the... gonna say, Well, this would be acceptable if you had a lighter to show 
and I was going to get to that. Thank you so much, Daisy Barksdale, for that was what? where I was le- Well, whatever, I'm done. Why, why didn't you bring the ear microphones for the show? Yeah. And tell? I guarantee yeah. nobody else has those. Yes. By the way, it's it's yes, still sitting. Asshole. It's still sitting. <laughs> it's still sitting in June's office because she said she's going to return it. Jeff, now let me ask you this: you've been you've been in the child abduction business now for a couple mm-hmm. months since we last mm-hmm. talked to you. Oh, Do you have any right. new ideas for business investments that Paul and I? Because you know Paul yeah. and I are pretty liquid. You know, I'm not trying to brag. But uh, I do keep a fair amount of cash on hand for business investments, stuff like that. And if you have a great idea, I'm willing to to partner up with you. But it has to be a, a you know a solid idea. And if you don't have one right now, we can come back to you. You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't we have anything right now, but okay. I will put doors together open. something. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll open. put together a presentation slideshow. Door, doors open. I would love. To, I, I would love. To, I would love a slideshow i you know i love me a good slideshow everybody knows that about me so we'll we'll yeah. double back to you um all right well uh let's okay. get jeff out of here great Bye, job. Jeff. Great, no great, great job. job paul <laughs> that is adios rude. buddy doom it's it's out. rude the way you treat people is not polite i like get the jeff. road jack been on the show before he's a fan favorite fucking guy didn't he, even when know jeff is when jeff's on the show the chat literally you can watch the chat guys blow like, up. oh i don't know what that is uh, that's idiot. not a good impression of jeff and that's not the slide oh. that you showed you what? didn't show what that the fuck Paul. is that you showed, you showed space no you showed the other one which was uh, uh let's keep going let's bring right. on our, our next we're gonna and, and by the way i do appreciate this reference to the chris gethard show about powerpointing it and showing it to board of directors we do we do need a board of directors here uh, i could bring up my ear microphones but I, i'd rather see what liz has because we are running a little bit tight on time so liz let's welcome liz here we uh yeah this, okay. is, this Hi, liz. is our favorite how are you hello how are you Great. How are you? Thank you for being here. I'm sorry that you've had to wait a while and listen to some of Paul's childhood stories, but um, I'm going to tell you something. I was watching Liz during this segment when I brought this up and Liz is like, she knew immediately what was going on. She was like, well, got that's it. Not, that's not fair to Jeff. I mean, you know, uh, she was like, Liz, where, where are you? And uh, what do you do for a living? I'm in Vancouver. Uh, I work at a printing company. Oh, cool. And yeah, well, Vancouver Olympics. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. You guys, right. let's Olympic see what you got. Let's see what you got. She's got something in her house that we don't have. Okay. I've got a few things that you probably don't have because I worked for okay. the broadcasters during the Ooh. game. Oh, um, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff like pins and. Right, I'm gonna put you. Path. I'm gonna put you in the center. I'm gonna put you in the center screen here. Hold on one second. Oh, no, that's a you. car cigarette lighter. Right, yeah. um, Just okay, blocking out go. the last name. Like my security pass to get into everything. Wow, I don't have that. I do not have your security. By the way, pass. can I ask you what? You, what were you covering up that would still be relevant? Her my name. last name. Her name. Okay, got don't it. Want, we don't want to know her last name because no, of course it, that's smart. I thought like it was like like I thought you were. There's a bunch of bounty hunters that watch this show that will come after you. So don't don't tell us your last name. You already Never told us too much that you're in Vancouver. There's already Never there could tell be us yeah. assassins. There could be human assassins zeroing in on you right now. I always like to say, don't tell me your last name because it makes it more fun for me to find. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that means. That, that, is that to me? <laughs> so what else did you do for the Olympics? So did you, did you, uh, what did you do for them exactly? Did you interview people? Did you? No, my job was the title was uniform and accreditation coordinator, but oh. my specific role was making sure that 1500 people from around the world had the proper security passes to get into the Whoa. city. That's and we're, wow. and we're the so if you didn't have it at the airport, you weren't going anywhere. Wow. That seems so, to me like a mind numbing job. I mean, that must've been so stressful, right? I mean, like in a, in a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So can we, can we role play? Uh, can I be an athlete trying to come into Vancouver and I don't have my proper credentials and I just want to get a taste of how you would handle the situation. Is that okay? Uh, sure. Okay. Hello, how are you? I'm very excited to be here. I'm coming here from all the way from France. Uh, you can tell from the way that I talk. I don't, uh, I've never been to Canada, but I'm so excited to be here. What do I need to show you? Great. Do you have your pass? 
Oh, let me. Uh, oh, uh, I think my friends stole it for, or they borrowed it. They, I don't have it. Is that the problem? Yeah, just a little. You're not getting in. Scene and scene. Great, <laughs> great job. Really great job. Did you see that, Paul? I, I thought. I mean, I, I, I was kind of yeah, caught up in the very professional, uh, very, very helpful. Also, I thought it was helpful. It was like, nope, you're not. You, you can't come in. You know. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. I, I think what I missed was some of the character development. I, I, I like, you know, I'm, I'm one about not about the premise, but I like to see like who, who my, are you? My I, character, yeah. or her character, your character. Oh, okay. I can give you some. Do you want yeah, me to I would do love it? to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just do it again. One more time. Okay. Hello, oh. Paul. Come on, man. You can't ever. Hello. Uh, my name is Fabian. I'm from France, where I live, and I'm coming here to participate in the Winter Olympics. I'm on the dive team. I trained for 14 years, and uh, my parents were brutally murdered in the French uprisings of last spring. Pretty... <laughs> <laughs> I'll give me a thumbs up. Uh, I also like to watch movies on DVD or perhaps streaming on Hulu or Netflix. And yes, I also just realized that I'm here for the summer. Do, you're checking your watch. Do you have somewhere to be? Now yes, that's there's other scene. athletes that need to come in. That's oh, drama. That's, that's, that's I was fun. Waiting that I was, was waiting fun. for her to do that. I was waiting for her to say, "Look, Fabian, Woo. we don't have time for all this backstory. You can't come in." So I thought I, you to me, coming. when I'm doing my sculling, I rec I recognize that as a as an athlete, and I recognize right, that as a Liz, dramaturg. Let's ask Liz about that. Liz is sculling the the name of the sport. There's skeleton. Skeleton. Yeah, different thing. That's different like a, thing. yeah, that's a different thing. I mean, you probably yeah. didn't do the Summer Olympics, so I bet, right? Yeah. No, she, I think she worked in the, I think the it was winter. The winter ones. Yeah. 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 That, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we had, we had things that we said about Let the Let me ask you a question. And this is a little bit personal and I don't know you very well and I don't know your relationship uh, history, but did you uh, hook up with any, or did you, did you have any kind of relations with any of the Olympic athletes? Is that a fair question? I don't know if I'm allowed to ask that. Absolutely not. But no. it was also because we were just working for the broadcasters. So they would come I, in okay. for some interviews sometimes and get ushered in through the convention center, but you didn't okay. really get to get up close. I didn't have that but, a proper security level. Okay. It, but there was, but there, there was no, were you yeah. tempted to say, look, you know, uh, Jean-Claude, I see that you don't have all your credentials. Maybe we can work something out if you come into my office, blah, 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 you know. Honestly, we were working 12-hour days, six days a week during games time. I just didn't have the time. I see. I get it. I, I wouldn't either. I, I, you know. Were you starstruck, though, at any moment? Yes. Like, I mean, that, that very, like, I mean, was there ever, because it is interesting, like, Olympic athletes, or at least this is my, I'm not a big Olympics person, person and I, I'm sorry for not being an Olympics person, but like they're, they are amazing athletes, but they're not like as well known name wise. We're like, are you still like, are, can you still be like, were well, you you're catching them? You're catching them at the, uh, when they're right. just about to take off, you know, they're not right. pro, pro, you know, they're amateur athletes, but they're about to become really famous. Like the men's basketball team or something like that. Like, so no, those yeah. are all professional athletes. Oh, my God. Well, like, yeah, anyway, like, I, I, get I, think that, I think that in hockey that, you know, but anyway, sorry, Liz, we're getting, but uh, yeah. Was there a moment where you were starstruck, awestruck? Yeah, there was a couple of them. One was the men's Canadian men's curling team because at the time they were amazing, and there was a hottie on there. Ooh, <laughs> wow. on the curling the team, skaters, wow. the really well-known Canadian figure skaters, uh, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moore. Yes, okay, yeah. yes, yes, yes. They are yeah, very they sexy. Through. All those skaters are sexy. Yeah. That's great. I love this. So this is a this is a very great show and tell. This is awesome. I love it. Do you have anything yeah. else? Okay, She's you have one got more. Something yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you talked about art earlier. Yeah. And oh. <laughs> you were sorry. talking about art earlier, and then the Olympics, and it all kind of comes in together because I got two things that are art related, mm. and one of them will do this one first. It's a Bentwood box. What? Whoa. 
that was given to us. What uh, is that? Is there a Baba Duke in there? What what is that? Oh, it's it's just got like old buttons and stuff in there. But okay. it's got okay. a Wow. Ooh, okay. Some there jewels. Wow. That's very beautiful. Wow. Ooh, Olympics. For, yeah. It was yeah. made for the company to do that. And then we got a large box and there was a card in it talking about, we'd like to thank you for your contribution. We have something with your higher number, mm -hmm. which is that. Cool. No, it was in front of us the entire time and we didn't even see the best part. The, whoa. Wow. That's pretty That's actually cool. a beautiful painting. Is it painting yet? It, it's wow. wow. Now you see so I, the yeah. organ the OBS, the or no, I guess it was the local organizers uh commissioned an artist to do this for the officials in Madrid. Oh mm -hmm. wow. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And it is the convention center downtown. If you mm. know Vancouver at all, you would recognize the sales right there. Yeah, I knew yeah. it right away. I Paul didn't then, know. It. I, I I knew it. I recognize that convention. restaurant because I went there one time and I was on a wait list. No, you bar. thought that was Seattle, Paul. You told me okay. you thought that was Seattle. No, there's a revolving restaurant here. Yeah. Um the new convention center, and we were the first tenants in the new convention center when it was wow. built. I heard I that. They, I knew that. I knew but, that. But they said that they gifted it to us as uh, like our higher number. So it's 85 out of 200 for this mm. logistics team. But I later yeah. learned that's not true. It was oh. because the executives in Madrid didn't want to bother taking it home with them on the planes. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. Oh. All right. That's hilarious. That's I will crazy. say this. I will say that. Uh, what I like about that painting, even though I just talked about not liking getting any paintings, it's very hard to paint a convention center and make it look like art. And that actually is a beautiful skyline. Like to have a convention center at any point be like a centerpiece of a piece of art is hard to do and make it look great. And that, that is pretty great. I absolutely love it. It's definitely my style. I've had it hanging like directly across from my couch. I look at it every single day. It's yeah, it's absolutely. No. Gorgeous. Let me ask you this, Liz. If you were having like a party at your house, yes. okay, and it's getting pretty wild, like people are going nuts, you know, people are like partying. First of all, Notre Dame, I just want to say Notre Dame is not a convention center. <laughs> <laughs> and neither is Sydney Opera House. Those are not convention. I'm talking about convention centers. I'm talking about like the Anaheim Convention Center. I'm talking about like, like yeah, not like Notre yeah. Dame. All right, go ahead. Okay. Sorry. So there's a <laughs> Pretty, pretty fun party at your house. There's a lot of partying. People are cranking music, you know, whatever they do in Canada. I don't know exactly how it's different. People are stripping down into their underwear and, you know, doing cocaine and, you mm -hmm. know, running and jumping into the bushes or whatever. And then it starts to get a little thin. <laughs> it starts to like, you know, people are starting to leave and, you know, there's everybody's starting to go home. Do you whip out that painting and go, Hey, wait, wait, wait a second, guys. I want to show you something here. Check out this painting of my, uh, that I got from the Olympics and my Olympic credentials. Do you try to use those fun, cool things to, to keep people at the party? Nah, I just use like a boomerang or something. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Paul, do you know how to exactly. use a boomerang? Of course, mate. Hey. Yeah, see, yeah. I knew he was going to jump into his crocodile dun Dundee impersonation. Impression uh, alert. Impression alert. Here we go. Do it, Paul. Give us a little taste. That's not a knife. And this is a knife. And not I very, want it. Okay, not how about, how about that? That's not a knife. This no. is a knife. I put the prawns on the barbie. No, I feel bad for Liz. Thank you, Liz. Okay. Nice to meet you. See you later. <laughs> Oh man, uh, Rob, show and tell. What a hit! Everybody uh, brought the heat in show Big and tell. Hit. Let me look, let me look at the final numbers for the show because after yeah, we got they? back to Suburban Moms, we got back to Suburban Moms. This is great. Good news. We got all the Mormons. We got everyone involved with the Mormon Ooh. Church. We got everyone that goes to church, and we got all the atheists. We got the conservatives with the uh, PSAs at the beginning. Mm -hmm. We got the liberals. Uh, got it. We got, we got really everybody. Well, the that liberals is, hate. The liberals love to hate watch us. We got know? cat. We got cat people. When the one woman brought her cat on, the numbers went way up. 
uh, when Jeff came on to talk about the Olympic torch, uh, the numbers skyrocketed, Oof. skyrocketed. Where did the, I mean, what about the, uh, the lighter, Ronald, the car lighter? Ronald, Ronald McDonald, uh, tanked the numbers. The numbers went wow, way man. down when, cause it was dark. so, it was pretty dark. But, uh, when Alan McLeod was on, the numbers went, went way back up. Way back. All right. Well, this is great. I mean, uh, this has been great. And, you know, Rob, uh, as I say all the time, uh, you know, if you want to come see us live, we're going to be live this weekend in Los yeah. Angeles at Largo. Yeah. Tickets are still available. Go to Largo LA.com for please, tickets. Please, Paul, please memorize your lines for this Saturday. Please, I can't stress it enough. Memorize your lines. I'll be happy. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm very hard at it. And, script. I sent you the script. All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. All right. And, uh, and NBC is apparently picking us up and ne next week. Oh, this is actually really, this is actually really exciting. Sorry. Let me just read this. Make sure I got it right. Next week, the show will actually be part Frasier reboot and part Thursdays with Rob and Paul. That's great news. Frasier. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't wait, man. I do. Love uh, this is going to be great. Um, all right, Rob, uh, planet scum live, which is our friends, uh, Chris Gethard and all their, uh, assorted uh, public access uh, buddies have a great show going on, a brand new show over there. If you've not watched that network there, you have insane shows like Hand on uh, like a, a Box, which is an insane show that I do promise to check back in on in October. Uh, I can't even begin to describe the rules to it, but we're going to send you over there. Uh, thanks, everybody, for um, watching. And Free stay June. tuned on the... Free June. Free Don't worry June. about June. Don't worry about June. She's fine. Rob, it's great to see you. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye, Bye for everybody. now. Peace.